Input, 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 there we go, hey, hey, hey! <laughs> so they're going like, what the fuck? Everything was just working and now my mouth isn't working. Hold on, hold on. This could be adjusted, this could be fixed. Sometimes I wonder why do I do VTuber stuff. But should we, at the end of the day, just like, arbitrarily decide, hey! At the end of the day, it's like, oh, Merry Christmas, we'll do a live action stream so I don't have to deal with this fucking shit. Ah. There we go, okay, my mouse is working. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> oh, likes it. Last stream before Christmas and denied. Damn, you don't want to see my ugly mug, it's fine. Only because my hair is long and luscious and beautiful. Alright, hello, hello everyone. Uh, let's make sure everything's working on the Twitch side, although presumably if you're telling me things that I can say for sure that everything's working. But hey, Red, how's it going, man? Merry Christmas. Yes, I recognize last year I had a lot of, like, Christmas hats. I didn't bother setting up this year, so... It's all broken. Pack it up. We're done. Damn it. No, we cannot be done because today, today, we're on a mission, boys. We are on a mission. How have I only played this game for three hours? I'm pretty sure I played it for way more unless they didn't count. Unless they're, like, doing the, uh, the thing where only your successful runs count, which is very nice. But... There you got everything. Let us properly begin. Hello, my name is Max. Welcome, welcome back to me opening up my coffee. I'm gonna burn myself to Metroid Dread. On the last episode was actually the first episode of this game. So the situation is, as a recap, but we're done. The situation is, let me just remember how to play. Uh, okay. Oops. Uh, nope. I need to remember how to play. Okay, uh, L1 is that. L2, L2 is the ball. R1 is the missile. Excellent, that's that. Uh, and that's that. Okay. Let's look at the map. Alright, on the last episode, the game basically starts with the Galactic Trade Federation going, Oh no, someone has released on Twitter a file of the Parasite X, the villain of... I'm gonna explore over here real quick. I know this is the goal. Let's just look over there real quick. The villain of Metroid Fusion is still somehow alive and well. And this is a problem because the Metroids were originally designed... Shit. The Metroids were originally designed to be the one thing that can actually take those bastards on. which was the entire plot of fusion. But, as we landed, we were assaulted by what appeared to be a Chozo in full armor who kicked our ass. Our material's gone, we are now set out. We have now set out. We have now set out to try to A, escape, but B, discover what the heck was going on because it's believed that that Chozo, I knew it. That Chozo is specifically trying to kill us or to take the Metroid DNA from us so that he can command uh, command or control the X parasite or just kill them and make more Metroids as a galactic weapon. Does anyone have any questions? I can't talk straight, so and we only just started, so good luck everyone else. Say. Red, how's it going, man? Yeah, how's, how's it going, man? I know. Oh, uh, oops. Not only did I just drop my controller, not only did I just drop my controller and almost tip over my chair, I need to plug in my phone. Got any Christmas plans? Had to step away for a minute. Coffee hit me out of nowhere. It's all good, man. I woke up way later than I should have, but that's okay. That happens every Saturday, or every Friday stream, that I'm like, I'm gonna wake up early, and I'm gonna da da da, and then I don't. And I always feel like an asshole. 
Okay, once again, there's no secret here somewhere. Noise, noise. Do you find any good things from the from the Steam sale? I know you're talking about uh, already started on it. Damn. Starting the Christmas season right, I see. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right, okay. Hold on, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Hold on. Aha, bitches, I remembered how to do that. So you're high as fuck right now. But, um, or getting there. Yeah, like, you, you talk about Satisfactory. I have not gotten the, uh... I have not gotten the uh, DLC for Vampire Survivors, so I should do that, because it was only like $2, something like... Okay, first off, is it just me or is the game kind of loud? Hello, 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 hello. There we go. Okay, fix it. I don't know why that's happening. What the fuck? But thanks for keeping an eye on that for me, man. I appreciate it. Oh, again? Wait, 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 wait. Again? Again with the shit. Hang on. Why? Why did it quit out twice? What the fuck? Okay, hold on. So I just switch from that and then I switch back to that. There we go. Oh. Uh... Uh, that was weird. You okay now? All right, good. But uh, yeah, I, I, I got, I got, I gotcha. Yeah, just like not really enjoying yourself and more just kind of like in your own mental. Pr oh, what the fuck! In your own mental prison, kind of a thing. I can understand that. Oops. Because I just remember you mentioned you didn't really like Christmas in general. So, you know what? Some nice time to relax and still get the days off. Play some new games. Uh. I've seen enough hentai. Alright. There you go. Alright. Uh, let's go here real Oh, okay. We're both on quiet side. There you go. I turned it down a little bit for me because it was getting kind of loud. So, how about now? If I need to turn myself up. Hmm. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Oops. Uh See my microphone's at where it normally is. And I'll turn up the I'll turn up the game somewhat. How about that? If we need to turn me up, I can from the uh I can from the OBS side, I just don't want to overload. I don't want to overload your ears. I don't want to overload your- What the fuck? What the fuck? God, I am gonna have to just- Real talk, should, should I just switch to live? I could. It would be hard. I could. If it's... Nah. Um, voice mod. Ah! Mm. Okay, are we good now? Okay, are we good now? I think we're good now. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm curious now, though. Okay, good. That didn't work. Ah, what the fuck? Alright, should be all good. Should be all good. Got my mouth working. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, well, thank you. If, if you need me to adjust it, at all. If you need me to adjust it, say the word. It's not a problem at all. 
But yeah, I have time, you know, still time off and everything is going well. Did you find out more about the apartment? Or not the apartment, sorry, but like another new place, I should say, rather. Wait. Oh yeah, that's right, you're... Oh wait, shit, uh, don't I have a... I have a diffusion No, I don't. Okay. Yeah, did you find out more about that or Ah uh, um Understandable but still sorry to hear that. At least you give me money. Oh oh okay, hold on. Yeah, that's understandable, like, um, oh, I'm not gonna pretend to understand, like, the housing market stuff, specifically myself, especially in California, but I imagine that, like, during the holiday season, damn. I imagine during the holiday season and whatnot that, like, the dynamics of it change and there's, like, a, there's, like, a dead zone, if you will, so that, that makes sense, I think. Oh, shit. I really like that style of door. It makes use of your parrying, it forces you to kill, <clears throat> to kill something, but also gives you like a lot of resources. Like, I like that. Ah, oh, fuck, this is bad. Do I have the gravity suit now? Put down the coffee, put down the- oh, okay! <clears throat> That one. What? Uh. What the? What the fuck? Playing Castle Crashers and leave a couple of them a lot of fun. Ah. Ow! You dick. Oh, oh. What the fuck? Oh my. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. So it's don't shoot. It's shoot the other one. Okay, hold on. And then. No, okay, so I can't go up there because of that. Uh, I don't know why they want me to. Oh no, shit! I don't know why they want me to be up here, but they clearly want me to be up here. So. Now being up there is clearly a priority of some kind. Okay, okay. So what's all in the mod pack then?
Uh, oh, I can't. I can't do the flash. I can't do the flash. Okay. Oh shit. But like, generally speaking, is it like different? Um, is it like different items? Is it different? Uh, like areas, arenas, adventure modes. Is this what I'm supposed to do? I'm not entirely sure. I don't see anything else to grab. Okay. Uh, what, what does this provide to me as a different style of over here? What have I gained as a result of my struggle in taking multiple hits from the here? And now this can move faster. Yeah. Oh shit, my power. Oh no, now I'm out of missile. Oh. I bet I could have countered that. I bet I could have countered that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. So would you say it's a more of a, like how Panda Surf, uh, Server is a lot more of a building focus. Is this a lot more of like an adventure kind of a focus or what, what would you describe it as in that sense? At this time I'm not gonna use the book, I'm just gonna use kind of basic bits and shots. Okay, I'll use some. Just, I don't wanna, I don't wanna go empty. I don't want to go empty, so if I get more, I want to make sure they're not wasted. But, yeah, so this is like a decent amount of So, oh, the wrong button, the wrong button. Oh, I didn't realize it does, it does actually charge up right there. So now I can do this, which will get me over there fast. Okay, I didn't realize it turned on that first time. I missed that. Yeah! Nice, nice. Okay, I get it now. I get it. I missed a few details, but now we know it. Oh, oh shit. I was gonna say, wait a second, they're both. Yeah, fuck. Okay, what the hell? Oh, okay. I forgot that I can just kind of hang up here. Ah, damn! I shot the glow of penis. Oh, is that it? She's like, well, damn. <laughs> that is the look on her face, like, wow. All right, dope. Round two. Usually there's round two. I mean, round two. <laughs> All right, is there's no round two. You can use a claim mod to make the area. Wait. Fuck. You can use a claim mod to make an area yours, so only you can build it. No worries, that someone else make a mistake. That is interesting. So like, does Ryan have to, this is Ryan Rick Morris, right? Uh, so does Ryan have to like approve an area for you then, or? 
Oh, wait a second. What, what are we doing? I think I have a map on that. Right? We gotta get through that. Good to know. like a very nice guy. Max, you can hang on. Thank you for reminding me, I forgot. Uh... No, you just opened a second map mod using M instead of the one set to J and click the terms where the player is Okay, okay. But still, that's like a really, that's a really cool concept. So you could just like, literally what we were doing like unofficially. Like what we were doing unofficially, we could just be like, hey, I claim this in the name of, you know, queen and country. Like, that's cool, I like that. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, Alright, that's an elevator up to a new area. But I kind of want to just look around. Oh, wait, wait. Is this right back in an area? Okay, okay. Oh, this missile. Do I have this? I do not have a spider missile yet. Or the spider climb yet. Okay. I was going to say, like, do I, have, do I have a spider climb? I don't think so. Is this a full key? Still worth it. In my defense, I just sucked at building. But yeah, definitely. Nothing against her, of course, but there, there, there's always kind of a line of like, the bit has run its course. You know what I mean? Are we having fun anymore? No, then we move on. Doesn't mean anything, she did anything wrong though. It's just we were, we were kind of done with the adventure. Right, yeah, yeah. I mean, if I could, I'd still join in. It's just figuring stuff out. Um. Okay, I was gonna say, like, why? Why can I not choose the elevator? <laughs> I like playing Minecraft there, one just silly conversations. Drink my coffee. Also, my frames keep dropping. If it happens a lot, just refresh. I'm a little concerned about that, but it'll be fine. But still, like a more intensive version of uh, Minecraft's, who'd you call it? The Minecraft comments. Hi! No, come back! Oh, the deer! No! Oh, fuck yeah, we're gonna get super missiles probably. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Except it would depend on, like, if the mod, uh. That feels like there should be a secret right there. You know what I mean? That, that feels like something should be there. But, um. What was I gonna say? Yeah, that'd be really cool to like bring the server into a new world. Like different mods and stuff. That way there's no fear of anyone like losing. No, no, I've trapped myself. <laughs> that way there's like no fear of anyone like losing anything. Right, yeah. Unless you're an artiste, which I am not. I don't look that fire. What does that bug remind me of? No, it reminds me of the, uh... It reminds me of the, uh... Uh... What, what, are, the, what are the spider orbs in, uh, Pikmin called? 
Or I think they are. They remind me of those. Remember the logic of this game is basically to push you towards the direction and have you backtrack a few times if you find different resources. Oh. Hey buddy! I countered him, but I still touched his body, so it didn't count. Shit. Ass. But I will say, I love, I love fighting the show, so. Just like in general, how they have like an odd. Oh, keep thinking. Oh, I could have counted that one. I don't like that you deal damage just by touching me. Oh. I, I do like how fast you are, though. Let's head back this way just to get back to that few heal. Or that full heal. I can't talk to save my life. I don't I don't know what's up with me, but like past few days I've not been able to talk to save my life. Probably because I've completely given up on sleep as a concept. So <laughs> beautiful. So if I'm a little mush mouth, I apologize. <laughs> But I had a thought earlier. Yeah, I, was just, I was just curious. Yeah, like this, this about the server. What all have you been making anything specific? Have you, or you just kind of like exploring the mods, like the weaponry and stuff, and just kind of like figuring out how that shit works. Dear, no, come back. I love you. Ninety percent sure that plan opened up to eyeballs. Oh wait. Oh shit. The fuck get that shit the fuck out of here. Right? Okay. It literally just start. Okay, well, I, I didn't know. I, was, I didn't know. I was curious. I just didn't know I wasn't going. That's right. That one, our one Chozo buddy turned them all off because the one got us in our grip, in its grip. But. Okay. These plant monsters turn head tag. I'm out of here. Okay. Take my coffee. Uploading data. Samus, you are approaching the surface. This area, Gatherin, appears to be an underground forest. Which is honestly a really cool concept. DME have been deactivated, but Raven Beat still desires the Metroid DNA within you. I have reviewed the video log of your encounter after your arrival. Here's the points of origin where you just got fucking destroyed. What a you bitch you no should have countered. Then. You are no match for him now. 
why didn't you dodge? That you have recovered many of your combat abilities. However, my analysis suggests that you would not be a worthy adversary for him, not even at full power. First off, fuck you, Adam, for talking One shit thing to me. Still eludes me. Why did Raven Beat spare you during that encounter? Something must have motivated him. Fucking. I might, I don't know. I'll, I'll admit, I've been distracted by, um... So, okay, so I've been playing Baldur's Gate on my own and doing the honor playthrough. Also, okay. Did, did I talk to you? Remind me, did I talk to you about Dave the Diver yet? Like, I, I just want to ask in case you're like, yes, Max, we talked about Dave the Diver, so you can tell me to shut up. But have, have I talked to you about it? Well, th thankfully, that's the direction I want to go anyway. Yeah, okay, I've been, pl I've been playing Dave the Diver a bit more. Also been really distracted with, like, Magic Gathering deck. That game's really cool. I really like it. I had to restart my save, though, because, um... I had Megan try it out, and we didn't realize that we, there, we have to actually make, like, a dedicated... Whoa! Fuck. Uh, I'm starting to wonder if it's even worth killing. Yeah, I've been really enjoying that. Oh, um, on the Steam sale, I unfortunately didn't really find that much for myself. But, uh, I've been, like, trying to give friends stuff for, uh, get stuff for friends. But, uh, yeah, that's also why I was curious if you, like, found anything you really enjoyed on sale, because, um, I don't know, a lot of the games that I have wishlisted are just not on sale for whatever reason, so I'm like, yeah. Uh, yeah, sales kicked in, sales kicked in. Fuck yeah, motherfuckers. Alright, hold R and press Y to fire. We going back, boys. Oh, oh what's the Y button? Wait, hold the whole time. That's normal. So did, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh, so my normal missiles are just upgraded. Yeah. Okay. I'm sitting there thinking that like, you know, there must be like a new version or a... Uh... That might be worth exploring super quick. I mean, like the right here, so. But, um, oh, might as well. I'm over here thinking that, like, okay, you know, I need my super missile ammo, or maybe it, like, takes more ammo to do, and I have to do, like, a charge shot, and they're just like, nope, just, uh, just, just not great. Oh, dude, the same, same. Like, if anyone ever bought me gifts solely based on my wish list, like, um, there's so many of them that I'd be like, oh... I mean, uh, you know, first off, thank you. I still appreciate it. But also, I actually haven't really thought about this game anymore. Because, <laughs> like, most of the times, whenever you guys suggest, like, any video game for any reason whatsoever. I mean, any reason whatsoever. Oh, which one? Just to, like, just to, like, keep an eye on it. And if it's, like, oh, this, you know, it's on sale for even cheap and it seems really good, then I'll get it. But... It's, that doesn't mean that I'm like die hard desirous of it. But yeah, mine's definitely gone up to too much as well. What was what I could help a laugh at was um trying to find Christmas presents. Uh no one else in my friend group does that. Oh shit. Yeah, no one else in my friend group does that, so I went to someone's wish list and there was like four games total. 
there's like one friend that all he had was the DLC for Warhammer 3. I'm sitting there just like, Ooh, uh, uh, what? Which reminds me, at some point we need to figure out if you want to steal from my library. But anyways. Okay, so there's an elevator up, but there's also an elevator over there. Um, let's go. I got a good feeling about this area. I got a good feeling about this area compared to the other area. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Honestly, I might bug out some different playing things to do right now. I'm not worried about it. Okay. Like, death must die. Made by the same people who made Brotato. And it's literally just vampire survivors again, but like it take vampire survivors, but make it like Hades themed. That's the game. Literally the game is about different gods helping you to kill death. So Yeah, that's right, how's that going? I might play this on my own, I don't know. Uh how do I do the Uh, they have New Game Plus, but I haven't, but I haven't played through it on any of the entries so far because I kind of like to do an old one. Oh, of course, yeah, exactly. I'm surprised that they have New Game Plus, though. Um... Let me in! Da, da, da. Let me in! I am a human! ready to fuck me up. Oh, uh, is, is it kind of like the Silent Hill situation where they had to like take a game to figure out what they're doing? Kind of a deal. Damn, my armor looks good. We chill? So I have to remember where my where my phone is. I miss a lot of subtitles. Ah, I got you. So like the first one's good, but now that you play the other one, right, right. I, I got you. I got you. Um. Explain. Explain. <laughs> it's like, but it's, it's, it, but it's green. But it's green, though. <gasps> brother! No, brother! Brother, how? Why, brother? Uh, the series is one of those that every game up to so far has been upgraded from one point. Ooh! So, like, a nice guaranteed, uh, upgrade. There, there hasn't been any, like, slacker ones, or any ones that have, like, kind of suffered. Flashbacks to Silent Hill. <laughs> oh, what? Well, okay. Well, oh. Hey, hey! <gasps> Fuck. Back to this. Ow. Ow. Okay, let's get right here. Get back. Okay. Good, so I can still absorb them. I can still ab oh no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, it's so weird seeing them again. It's so weird seeing X parasites again. Also, it's so weird that I'm like, yes, please. <laughs> like, num, num, num. Whee! Is that bitch? Oh, good. Countering them immediately does that. That is very nice. Nope. Nope. 
but like okay so it's doing that would it create a situation where like um you would be overpowered because of um you know you get your best weapons from one or two and then you get them on a three what does that make you like super strong uh right yeah like um i was a little sad because the final fantasies were all on sale but like each one was only uh oh. Like the Final Fantasy, uh, the Final Fantasy VII Integrate and Crisis Core and stuff are on sale, but they're only for like fifty percent off. And I'm sitting there like, man, that's still like sixty bucks. <laughs> man, <laughs> you know what I, you know what I mean? All right, uh, fire is a powerful stream of plastic, appears through enemies and damage from to the press of fire. It can also destroy plastic covers. Oh, so it's just. It's just even stronger. It's just, it's just, it's just, bop, 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 bop. Yep, it's, wow. Oh, like, that's not even me trying to be a cheap ass. It's just, you know, we gotta be reasonable about this shit. Right. Oh. But yeah, like, most of the games that I would want to get are in that camp, basically, of like, Oh, there's this game, uh, Spiffy and Brit did a video of it, on it, called Peglin. It's basically a roguelike, but it's themed around, um, you know those games where, like, you would drop a ball, and it would hit, like, a bunch of little pegs, and your goal would be, there would be, like, ten different baskets, and your goal would be trying to figure out how to get it into one of those baskets? It's that, but a roguelike. And it looks so freaking cute. And I'm like, man, I want to play that, and it's like... 25% off with $50, which in the grand scheme of things, you know, is doable. But I'm like, oh, I want it. I want it. Cheap I'm cheap at the. Uh, 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 uh. Nope, it's one of mine. So we gotta figure out. Ah, over there is probably it. Which. My cheap ass tendencies are too strong. Sid, look that pe- oh. Make me attack the fucking thief. Fuck you. But not quite to the point where I'm stupidly piercing through walls. That's just hilarious. Hey, 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 hey. Asshole. Yeah. Nothing wrong with petting. Okay. Uh, okay, let's uh, go over here real quick. I love that now every time I fire a missile, the world shakes a little bit. I would just like to generally state that that makes me. No. Located good, but like. What's wrong with it is that I don't get instant gratification for Yeah, that that's another thing. Like I totally get that. Oh. Where like you buy something because it's on Oh, what was it? There's a ton of fighting games that I bought. Like from uh Soul Calibur to Blast Blue, Grand Blue, um Tekken, Mortal Kombat. I think that one of the Tekken three recently. And I was like, fuck yeah. And then I kind of had that moment of like, yo. Okay, good, Max. So you bought it. Well done. When do you plan on playing it? I'm like, what? What do you mean? Yeah, when do you plan on playing it? I'm not looking. Oh, my butt. Look at my butt. Look at my butt. Damn it. Look at my butt. Look at my butt. Bitch. But, um, yeah, so it's like, okay, Max, what do you plan on playing Tekken? Like, what? That's not, no, 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 that's not part of the agreement. I buy it and I get the happy juices because someday I'll play it. 
I probably won't, but you know. <laughs> oh shit. Get some instant gratification on playing Dead by Daylight more. Actually, that's not true. I have a damn that 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 bird's got some booty. That's where the DNA comes from. Shit. I love that stamp. Ah, faded. Yeah, keep fire missiles. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Sorry, flashbacks to uh, Dark Souls 3, or is this like, and now I'm a giant worm? Oh, oh, oh shit. Okay, okay. You still got more missiles, so keep firing them. These super missiles feel like they're. They're slower to fire, weirdly enough. There we go. Watch there be an upgrade that's like stream of missile. Oh, ah! I hit the button, you liar. That was cinematic and everything. That would have been fucking cool. Ow! Fuck. I guess having projectiles for me to heal off. So I just gotta get good. Bitch. Too fast! Multi level. Ha! Yep. I deserve that. I do think there's something the game says me not liking them as much as in even my 20s. Like, I'm more picky, but not because the game is more like I play enough games, so something's not gonna make me on or not. I feel like this blow on genre is hard to find your just because it's blown away the now because you're no, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, like, hang on. Sip a sip my coffee. Ow, I burn. Uh. Alright, um... I mean, you know, back in the day, we're like, heck, Mario and Sonic. You know, back in the day, there was, I mean, obviously, then there was still a lot to choose from. But, um, there was so much less to choose from. And because, like, you know, you're a kid and you only have one console or whatever, right? Now, as an adult, with expendable income and stuff. Yeah, now as an adult with expendable income... There's more to choose from, more to buy, there's more to the internet age, it's like trying to constantly get your attention. Yeah, that makes sense. And it's like, how do you know what's good, you know what I mean? Plus, not to mention, it's like, well, you know, as opposed to being a kid where you have, like, no responsibilities, now it's like, oh, I'm an adult, I got things I gotta do, I only have a few hours. I only have a few hours to dedicate to the hobby. I don't want to be wasted. I get that, man. That makes perfect sense. I'd say there's some jaded aspect to it, sure, but like. That doesn't mean like you're an asshole. But like, um. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah! I, um, I mean, if someone made an OG-style Mario game, and if it was like Mario 3 or Super Mario, I don't know if I'd buy it because that's really done it as well as those games have. Now that is another discussion. That's, like, that's something that always gets me when people talk about, like, games in the past being better or something like that. That, like, honestly, I would take that as, like, a fair, uh, criticism of video games in general, that there is definitely a certain aspect of um, feeling like games have, as a whole, lost something that added to their quality. Right, right, I get that, I get that, like, I don't know, you play all the different new Super Marios and whatnot, and you ask yourselves, is this truly an improvement? We've bloated it with graphics and visuals and different 
but has anything honestly been gained as a result of it? Um, I think a great example of this, I know you said you're not really into it, is Pokemon. Right, 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 right. Like, okay. Uh, Pokemon as a whole, right? They've added more Pokemon, they've added more combat mechanics, but in a lot of games, they also take away combat mechanics. And the story for most of the Pokemon games, in the grand scheme of things, hasn't changed. Like, at all. So, can you ask yourself, has there really honestly been an improvement? Or is it just, like, are we just going through the same motions and you already have enough bias because you, like, love the world itself? More than anything else. I can't speak for Dragon Quest, but yeah, maybe maybe they add enough that like it, you're okay with it, or that like it's fine. Um, let's let's take Metroid right now. That what we're playing with, right? People say Metroid, Super Metroid, is the best one, and then we ask ourselves, you know, has there actually been any legitimate improvement? And I would say, in the case of like a lot of the games, it totally has been. Something different has been gained as a result. Oh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Dope. What the fuck? It's like, what'd you get? I don't fucking know. I feel like maybe you shouldn't have gotten it yet. I'm like, alright. <laughs> but I got it, right? They're like, yeah, I guess. I don't know how, but you did, and I'm proud of you, champ. I'm like, thanks. Thank you. Alright, uh... So that's the exit, right? Yeah. Oh, sh shit. Okay, good. Uh, wait a second. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Aha! I'm the best. But, like, um, I'd say the Metro games have been no fault for me. But I could definitely see, like, a lot of genres where, like... You don't feel that as much. I could, I could see that coming out. Um, I think I can just leave. Yeah, I'm just gonna. No, I, I, Red, I don't think you're a jaded old angry man for that. I, I think you're completely reasonable. There's just so much out there. How do you? You know, how do you play it all, or how do you know what you're enjoying, and not waste your time? Shit ass. I'm just looking around like, son of a bitch. Well, I've doomed every living species on this planet. What a pisser. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, I can't even kill him. Great. Great. Uh, to a certain extent, that was gonna happen no matter what, but also, fuck, I've doomed us all. Adam, tell me about how I've doomed us all. Uh, like, take Zelda, for example. Each one changes enough. Yeah, I, I would say that's actually enough has changed it. Yeah. I'd say it's a good way to look at it, that, like, enough has changed so that it still feels fresh. But it's familiar enough that, like, you're still continuing an overall plot and story. I mean, like, heck, okay, Ocarina of Time versus Twilight Princess, right? Or Wind Waker. Let's just take all three of those games. They all have open worlds, they all have multiple ways of traversal, a lot of their items overlap, but the themings are so much different. The style of dungeons and bosses and art and, like, character design and everything, that is so much different. Even if each one could be boiled down to, you know, Find the princess, get the MacGuffins, find the princess again, get the Triforce, get the fuck out, <laughs> or kill Ganondorf. <gasps> they took his corpse, that's right, I forgot they could do that. Ah, oh, fuck. Right, because the robots aren't gonna. Yep. 
The robots aren't a danger to the extra parasites. Son of a bitch. Wait, that's a freezy. That's a freezy. Fuck. Fuck, that's a freezy. Oh, no, 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 no. That's bad. Uh, I'm having fusion flashbacks. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck you. What's worse is you're just gonna turn right back into the same thing, you asshole. Although this is also a great way for the game to uh, upgrade enemies. I, I don't see this. Oh my. They're all ex parasites. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. They're all ex parasites. Oh my god. I love watching them transform, though. That's just a one way ordeal. Um, we can work our way down there, unless there's like. It also doesn't help that, like. Let's be like really cynical for a second. Really, let's be really cynical and jaded. How many games have both of us played that basically boiled down to. Um, it's X, but Y. You know what I mean? How many how many games have literally boiled down to that? Like, okay. I loved Lies of P. I, I loved Lies of P to no end. I thought it was fucking amazing, right? But in a lot of ways, what is Lies of P? Well, it's Dark Souls, but yeah. Fix my life. It's Dark Souls, but Pinocchio. Now obviously there's a lot more going on than just that. So, Lies of P isn't the best example. There's a lot of interesting, unique gameplay mechanics that make Lies of P special. But how many games out there are essentially just that? You know what I mean? Like, um, what was that one game? I forget what it was called, but there was like a tech, there was a tech demo. Data. Samus, you fucked up. Checks have been released from their confinement. You're an asshole, it Samus. Scattered across the planet. This is no doubt the work of Ravenbeak. Definitely the work of Ravenbeak. Yep, no one else. No one else. But I mean, okay, just think of like the Souls-like games I've played. Um, I'd say Neo felt very unique. Mortal Shell, On Guard. I haven't really ran into that with Souls-likes yet. They've all been like... Maybe The Surge was the closest one to being a cop-out. That it didn't really feel like it had its own soul. And, oh, uh, Callisto Protocol would be a fantastic example. His motives are still a mystery, but your Metroid DNA grants you immunity to the X parasites. You can even absorb them. Perhaps it was some kind of message. If you're gonna be philosophical about this shit, then you're gonna tell me like ass the whooped by Raven Beak. Fuck. They are overrunning the planet. They must be destroyed. Or even your ship, Samus. Your ship has turned into I an X parasite. You will make it here safely. But, um, after three of the, like, with large air games, they wanted to try more open than they did. Yeah. But, like, um, let's take Callisto Protocol, right? Hey, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah. I love that X I love that X parasites combine different enemy types as well. Because like, like what we're fighting right now is effectively two enemies put together. It's those little geyser ones, and then it's like the, the big guy. I, I think that's what it's Let's see. Uh, I would love that. Yeah, like essentially just essentially just take the like. Not necessarily the soul system or the like bonfire system, maybe like a little bit of bonfire system, and just put it into a Zelda, like have Legend of Zelda but Dark Souls style of combat with like a stamina bar and different thing. I love that. I, I mean, that's a, little, a lot of what I saw in Breath of the Wild, but it just didn't go far enough. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But like, okay, let's take, let's take, um, oh yeah, that's our goal right there. Let's take. 
uh, Callisto Protocol, right? Callisto Protocol, which I I fell for the hype, man. I'm I'm not gonna deny that for a second. I I was hook, line, and sinker, which is why when it sucked, I was so annoyed because it was um. I was so annoyed because it was so unwilling to do its own thing. It's like the only thing it knew how to do was just to be uh, Dead Space instead of being its own unique beast. Like, that's all I wanted. The mo like, and I still stand by my statement. The times when the times when Callisto Protocol is its own beast, it's such a more interesting game. It's just that situation almost never comes up. And that's why it's so heartbreaking. And then, yeah, the open world needs a refresh as well. It's very same amount of difference as well. Uh, open world as a concept is still one that, like, I don't really know. This is gonna, I'm going to make a weird statement. In the grand scheme of things, if you just took open world as, like, an individual concept, I don't know if I like it compared to single player. And yes, obviously there's gradients. For example, the uh, let's take Dark Souls one, two, and three. Uh, Dark Souls. Arlo just gave me the most psycho ass look. His eyes are like half open and. I can tell they're not bloodshot, but like the way he has them open, they look like they're bloodshot, and he's breathing in his mouth. Eyes are glowing red. Why are your eyes glowing red? Oh. But like, okay, um... I think, see, my problem with open world is that, yeah, a lot of it just turns into... What's the I'm looking for? A lot of it just turns into checklists. That nothing actually matters, that there's no uniqueness. It's just... It's just another checklist. You know what I mean? Like, it's why Horizon Zero Dawn made me so mad. Uh, well, fuck. Ah! <laughs> Click. Well, this is that part, it, folks. <laughs> yeah, like, um, Horizon Zero Dawn, unfortunately, Dying Light, a lot of it just felt like copy pasted buildings that all are basically the same thing and all basically perform the same function. There's no point or purpose to it. Now, let's take games like Fallout New Vegas. Yes, obviously, some things are like reused and stuff, but places feel a lot more unique, there's a lot more personality, there's a lot more things. Or, um, Elden Ring. Yeah, sure, a lot of the dungeons were kind of copy-pasted, but I would say there's still a net positive. Uh, if I could say words with the best of them, mother would be so proud. Oh sh Wow. Wow. Y'all see it. Oh, oh. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. I can't believe his scanner freezes. Terminated. Jail, hello, and oh, yeah, I just want to say thank you again for the gift. That was very kind of you. I don't know when I'll play it, but I'm very excited to. That game looked like a lot of fun. But I'm um, okay. Uh, work because they always let. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm a little tired of open world driver repeats, but a different color shade. It's a single player MO, one cell, but that's okay. I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I definitely get that. I'm trying to think. 
There's a way I'm trying to articulate, but I can't think of it immediately. But uh, how's it going, Dale? I feel like a lot of open worlds and games in general are less focused on Wow, that is brutal. That is fucking brutal. But um what what am I trying to what am I trying to articulate? I think the issue, a lot of what you're feeling, Red, and correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, come on! That's right. I sat through the face. Get fucked. Um, it feels like... Okay. Okay, let's get, let's get a little depressing for a second, right? Let's get a little bit depressing. What is the ultimate goal of a video game? Right. The ultimate goal of a video game, I would say, is to provide some kind of experience to tell a story. It's an art. It's meant to, it's meant to drive pleasure. Fuck out of here. Gotta get the fuck out of here. Why did that actually just work? That actually just work. Holy shit, that actually just work. Holy shit, that actually just work. when I turn that bitch off. Uh. Okay, so a game's purpose is to provide some kind of art, to tell a story, but, or, you know, to evoke an emotion. But what makes video games unique as opposed to like books or movies or get the fuck away from me, a robot, is that it is an interactable medium. It's been described that video games are the only kind of art that will straight up bar you from continuing to enjoy it if you cannot fulfill some kind of challenge. Whether or not that is, um, whether or not that is like a gameplay or a narrative or a quiz or that kind of a situation, it will quite literally bar you from I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I have it. It's best to come out. No oh damn it. Get the fuck out of here! If I, okay, my, my other camera isn't working, but if I could, I'd be flipping off the camera right now, like, fuck you! <laughs> but, um, right, that's the general idea and goal of it, which is why video games can be interesting, because they, because they give you a challenge or something, right? But, there is definitely a question of... Sorry, this is this is this is difficult. I'm having, I'm having a hard time. How much time should it take to appreciate that? Is what I'm getting at. Uh, how long should it take? Which is a weird question, right? Like, okay, let's take RuneScape for example. Uh, RuneScape, MMORPG. All that good stuff, right? But a lot of things in that game take time. Like, you can't just cut wood and immediately get the wood. You have to, like, you have to take the time and the better equipment you get, the faster it is. Is it providing a benefit to taking, to that taking time? That's the question I'm trying to posit. So, now let's take the same concept of the rule game. Um, 
no way I'm gonna grab. Yeah, okay. For those moment-to-moment -moment style fights in an open world. Oh, okay, here's a great example. Let's take everyone's like max you're, you're just saying mental vomit like you're not just saying intelligent no 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 no. i'm getting to a point i'm getting to a point Do I nope. like no 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 trust me trust me trust me there's, there's a point to this end of this adventure which i'm gonna pause and talk about it i lied um horizon zero dawn versus shadow of the colossus right both big open world games, both where you fight gigantic enemies, whatever comparisons you feel like drawing, there they are, right? Um, Horizon Zero Dawn has you explore this world and do all these little challenges and things so that way you can enjoy the gameplay and stuff. But, because you have to explore this big old empty world that many times doesn't have anything, and what it does have is copy pasted, what it has is watered down, and a lot of it is just travel time. It just takes time. It wastes energy. Now let's take Shadow of the Colossus, a game where there's also a big open world, but how much do they bar you from doing the parts that you actually enjoy? Well, once you get there, virtually none. Now we could have discussions about, like, but it takes time to get there, and, like, this is taking forever. Just take me to the big fight, but the game does that on purpose to create a narrative theme of a big, open, peaceful, naturally idyllic world that you yourself are destroying in order to pursue a goal of some kind. I got this. No, no. And it adds to the themes of it. What themes are, is Horizon Zero Dawn creating as a result of its faffery? Nothing, really, in my opinion. Like, yes, we have discussions about, like, there's the beauty of nature that's been destroyed and ravaged by technology, brr. But, like... but it doesn't really add much to it it feels like it's just trying to like okay okay so it's just double jump still very nice yeah it doesn't actually add to the theme of the world and because a lot of it is copy pasted, it doesn't really benefit. Now let's take New Vegas, where they're trying to give more of an idea of like the people there. And yes, I realize as I'm talking right now, a lot of what we're talking about could be considered like opinion and stuff right now. But like I think I think you get the idea of what I'm trying to say. It feels like a lot of games are more focused on wasting your time. That like I think, uh, I think something that, like, a lot of video game industries don't really understand that, uh, older games do is that... What am I trying to say? Oh, my fuck. I was about to go into the idea that, like, it feels like in a lot of ways older games are not trying to waste your time, while newer games are. Like, I feel like newer games have a certain amount of... Older games would try to juke you out of shit because they want to take your money. They were quarters, right? While... Right, because they're quarter munchers. While, uh...
Right, that too. Ah, see, hmm. Maybe this isn't so much as an old game versus new game thing. Maybe this is what we're kind of like coming into realization. I'm sitting here thinking that like, this is something that newer games do, but really in the grand scheme of things, I would say all games do to a certain extent. Or all ages of games have done it, but maybe it's just more noticeable because now we have the benefit of time and of different designs and things that like we can kind of see it and call it out for what it is. How the fuck do I escape? <laughs> I think, okay. Okay, let me rephrase like this. Let me rephrase like this. I think the games that more better stand the test of time are the ones who value your time. Because a lot of a lot of current day games, like, I bet if you went, went up to, like, different uh, directors of video game companies or, like, stockholders and stuff and say, what is better, a 60-hour game or a 6-hour game? And, like... Arlo's sparking his sleep. It's very cute. Um, I think the question of how much you actually enjoy the game, the quality of the time spent, doesn't really factor in. For example, Mortal Shell, a very short game. On Guard, a very short game that did not waste my time. Now, sure, we could talk about how On Guard reused a lot of its enemies, but it was a very short and sweet experience compared to Wo Long, where I was just like, wow, I don't give a shit about any of this. Or uh, Callisto was like, wasting my time. You know what I mean? I, I think that's it. That like, the games that stick with us the longest are the ones who value your time and try to create enough unique things within, okay, within the time that you're playing it, so that it avoids doing the same bullshit over and over again. And also, we could talk about how, uh, uh, we can also talk about how a video game I'm trying to map the list of two other routes you have not tried. Nuh uh. Okay, look, okay, look. This is it. This is it. Where else do I go? Because, like, this box has not been in it. It takes us here to here. So where are, where are the other two routes? Up above the blue. I can't. I can't jump. I can't jump. Not the blocks. Yeah, but I can't jump. <laughs> I think I think that's what I'm trying to say, and I'm I'm having a hard time saying it because the more the more I talk about, the more I can think of moments that actually contradict what I'm saying. That like it feels like a lot of video games that stand the test of time are better at not wasting your time, and like they get you to the good shit, and the only time they're not getting you to the good shit is to build up pressure again, as opposed to just wasting. Your time. And I would say you are completely valid in feeling like. I'd, I'd say you're completely valid in like frustration with like these games are wasting my time. What's the point? You know what I mean? How the fuck do I get out? I'm about to Google it. This 
shields for you. Dude. I, I should not be having any problems with it. First thing I have to Google for take sake of time. Uh what what is what is your thing that is uh spin boost. You do spin boost across it. What the fuck? That wasn't working. Fuck. It did not seem like. Shut up. Shut. Hey, shut up. It did not seem like it was working. All right. Like it, I was having a struggle. Fuck you. I, that that was that was. Mm, I was having a hard time. Mm. Sad <laughs> noob fucking it. it did not seem like it was working Alright fine chalk that up to my own idiocy but it genuinely did not seem like it was working That's why I was sitting there like so what the fuck <laughs> I'm gonna make a bet real quick Okay, I figured out. Okay, so where does this actually... Where can we go? Red, did I articulate myself well? I feel like I did not articulate myself well. I feel like I am a dumbass. He is lower than a noob. Damn! I feel... Oh. What a fucking cool visual! That was awesome! That was so fucking cool! I, I feel I did not articulate myself well and I apologize. I would say though that that is definitely a fundamental concept. There's definitely the question of uh, pacing when it comes to getting you to the good shit, but a lot of games feel like they're more counting it as success if um, they take up your time as opposed to giving you a more uh, a higher quality experience. A higher quality experience. Where else can we go? Yeah, maybe maybe it just does come down to opinion then. That like tell me I'm lower than you. Maybe it's like Cheater. Maybe that is what it comes down to. All video see the reason I said like let's get depressing for a second is because in a lot of ways all video games waste your time. Now yes they provide like yes Max all video games waste your time like all cinema all books all movies all everything all art technically speaking wastes your time. Now I don't like looking at shit in that manner because that's depressing as fuck. It's, it's really depressing as fuck, I would say, to look at life in such a way that all art is wasted your time. Because technically, it does. But it's about valuing your time and trying to make sure it isn't wasted. Um, oh, I'm not doing that right. What the fuck? Uh, I was gonna say, cater to playing game while you're not wasting your time up there. Everything is just a slow off death match we get it. Well, you know. 
Just because everything's a slow waltz to death doesn't mean you shouldn't stop and enjoy the music. You know what I mean? That's the important thing about the waltz. Oh! Listen, listen, listen. I wasn't paying attention. Yes! Yeah. Maybe we should enjoy the dance while it lasts! And maybe if I'm not a fan of hip hop, then I don't need to be in this ballroom. Maybe, maybe I dressed up for the wrong ball. Oh. Maybe I dressed up for the wrong ball. Sh oh my goodness, that freezing. Okay, where am I actually trying to go? That's right. Why? No clue. But I'm doing it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. Aha! I'm a genius that definitely didn't fail at doing something incredibly stupid and obvious. Ballroom blitz. That makes sense. What she does. She's not exactly sitting here like giggling maniacally because it's dangerous, dangerous work. But, I mean, okay, come on. Think about the way that, like, you remember the fight with the enemy that gave us the Phantom Cloak or whatever it was? Do that just to get that cloak. Oh, shit, yeah, let's fucking go, let's fucking go, let's fucking go. You saw, like, the sass she hits the, uh, she hit the one, uh, invisible enemy with? The sass she hits Craig with? She, I feel like... In, in her own, in her own quiet way, I think Samus enjoys what he does. Fuck you, beta mother brain. I'm gonna fuck you, I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna hot. <laughs> I think you're huffing copium. No, -uh. I'm Iron Man now. Hey, I, 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 oh, I am not ever. Oh, no. I never ever. I, I only tell the truth. Maybe I don't want to aim that way. Ever consider that game? But like, no, she she fights with a certain level of sass, especially in this game. And like, you can really see it in, uh, I would say, I would say you can really see it in uh, Samus Returns and in Dread. Can't see his face, so shit. Bye bye. Oh no, it's cooled down already. I need to get to a bigger straightaway. Yeah, I need to I need to get him into a bigger straightaway. Uh hold on. Okay, uh this area. If I can lure him into the room that I fought the brain at itself, maybe. Nope, it's locked. Alright, um. Fuck, that spot might work. But that's a long ass ways away. Oh my goodness, that mobility is delicious. Look how fast it cools down, though. There's not a spa I, ha I have to leave. I have to go somewhere where there's more space. I can't. I can't do it in a short amount of time. Oh, 
shit, I'm locked in. I am locked in with this bitch. Game said, figure it out, motherfucker. Where'd Captain Asshole go? That did not work. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that is kind of close. Damn, ow. I was the bitch. gotta be good. Yep, alright. My aim's gotta be good. The world is fucking doomed. And bullshit! Oh, no, it's back. Oh, damn it. That's gotta be it. Like... What else could it, what else could it be? Uh, maybe like right here, but oh wait, this might work. This might work. This might work. Oh no 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 no! Come on! Nope. You about what the ULA? Oh, that is. So down to the wire. Come on. Oh, you're a bitch. Oh, you're a bitch game. You're a bitch. Fuck, there's gotta be another place. To, there's gotta be another way to do that shit. Is that really the only spot? Do I have do I just legitimately have to do this with perfect accuracy? Damn. I can't even go up there. I just have to keep firing so the moment he pokes his head out, yep, I can slow him down. Oh, bullshit. Oh no, he still has it, he still has it. Oh, it's immediately cooled down again, damn it. Yeah, how you like, how you like the Rogue Trader so far? Tell me, tell me about your exploits. Uh, oh no, precious bullets. I'm missing precious bullets. Oh my goodness, bullshit. Yeah, I'm trying to get, get, get blocked. Ah, fuck. There's gotta be a way to do this. There's gotta be a way to do this. Let's try up there. Let's try up there. That would that would be more thematic, I feel. To, or more uh, exciting to be like. You have to escape to this area that you haven't been to yet. Fuck. 
Fuck! Stretch. Hmm? I got a weird email. Uh, okay. I think it was <laughs> the U e U L A is lore for the game. It's like I honestly I could see Warhammer doing that somehow. Oh no, oh, I'm missing. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I don't think I'm gonna make it if I miss. Ah oh, no, it's back to cool. Damn it. This guy's fucking rough. Come on. I'm picking up good vibration. Right. No, oh my, oh my. Ah, no, it's cooled again. Fuck. God, this feels. I know it's not impossible, but it feels like it is. Yeah, of course, I have to get over there to make more room, but by the time I do, he's completely cooled down. Back in sky blue ass dollar, get your pallet ass back, motherfucker, that home depot piece of shit. He's back to cool again. to get every shot perfectly. No! There's gotta be a way to do this. <laughs> you are you are shit. Oh, I just realized something. My phone is my phone is at one percent. My phone is at zero percent. Oh, ah, shit. I just lost my phone. <laughs> Damn it. I lost. Oh, no. That means I lost a lot of my more complex facial emotions. Son of a bitch. Okay, hang on. We'll, we'll take this as a breather. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bye, bye Felicia. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, what's. Oh, stretch my arms. What does everyone think? is a good location to use. Okay, let's, hold on, hold on. Let's do, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fight him. I'm just gonna focus on fighting. Hold on. All right, so we're locked up here. Where do you guys, <gasps> Ooh, 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 I just got an idea. I just got an idea. You can't tell that I have an idea, though, because my face doesn't work right now. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. 
I have an idea. Blam, 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 says the handsome hunter. Blam, blam, blam. Follow me, bitch. Calm down, Brock. My phone's charging. Yeah, look at all this space. Look at all this room. This is totally it. This has to be it. This has to be it. Yeah. You'd win if you just opened your damn eyes. Brock, please. Look, I'm sorry the program thinks I'm Asian. What do you want me to do about it? Oh shit, it went down and said up. This could be a problem. Bitch! Fuck. It was it was I who was the bitch. The game made me its bitch. You wait if you open your damn eyes. Okay, it is charging, it is charging. My phone is starting up. Gotta be very delicate with it. Charging in two hours. Nonsense, Mr. Poopy Pants. What if I made you charge way, way slower? Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. My eyeballs work again, motherfucker. <laughs> My eyeballs are functioning. Okay? And it shut down. Oh no. My phone literally. It has so little power. It can't. Um, it has so little power. No, it says it's at 0%. What do you mean show I take a screenshot? I can't get my phone on. I need to wait till it's powered up at least a little bit. Okay, sorry, never happened my ass. I need to wait till it's charged up a little bit and then try it again. Cause it literally just shut down because it's like doing the camera takes too much energy. Let's wait until it gets to 5%. It's at 1% right now. Can't see my complex facial emotions, though. <gasps> Fuck yeah. Ooh, it is just an overall upgrade again. Uh, a uh, very nice. All right, let's try to get over there and then we'll see where we can go from here. Wonder if it'll let me freeze a uh, water. I don't know. Let's test it. <laughs> Just like I don't know. Let's test it. Gets fucking blottoed. <laughs> Show results, my ass! Motherfucker, my phone at 1%? 2%? I love how this game really is, uh... This game really is focusing on fusion. You know what I mean? Like, I, I love that. I was actually doing that for a second. Aha! 
Max, do you know what that resource is? Not a clue! But, damn, Brock did it though. Pretty jealous that Brock did it. Jealous of my elite game. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hi. Listen, listen, big guy, listen. Listen, Atlas, listen, darling, babe, babe, listen. I have a need. Thank you. I thought that was gonna be way harder. <laughs> it's like, I thought this was gonna tell you are gonna make this a real pain in my ass, so yeah, I really appreciate you. Just let me, let me just grab that thing real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's live. I mean, all right, how's it work? Uh, with the Ana ability that allows Sans to scan his surroundings for him, blocks you a special sound wave, a full and whole blank to use. Cool. Now, notably, it doesn't tell you... Oh, do you see that the map is, like, 3D somewhat? It certainly makes this process simpler. You know, there's, like... It's a whole lot of there's no question about this. Oh. Complex facial emotions. Let's fucking uh, go. The app closed itself. I, I just want you to know that I opened the app, and it is just like, all right, starting, and then it just went away. Yeah, it's certainly making this process. Now I know I can like go to this safely. Wait, how's my face working? Yes. Yes it is. I know everyone loves it when I'm Brock, but Your eyes have been banned. <laughs> Your entire ocular muscles banned. Because fuck you. Um hmm. I my realization. There's no escape. <sighs> Back. How how do I stop it? How do I stop it? You see man, that's the puzzle. My coffee ain't working. So there's gotta be another route then. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm saying it's like fuck. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> but I died. Died. Should have. Should have. Oh my god, that's so stupid. Okay. I wonder if the fire plants are weak to cold. Okay. Yeah. Duh. Of course they'd be. Why wouldn't they be? 
Why, why would they not? Why would they not? Why would the, the ice plant or the fire plants not be weak to ice? Dirt to furkin' dirt. Alright, um. Why, why wouldn't I be able just to do that and then move on? Duh! Um. Okay, let's see. A shortcut, shortcut. Uh, shortcut. And drink some normal ass water. Um. Let's just do a quick scan. Shortcut. Shortcut. I feel like that's something important. But that's a long ways away. That's a long ways away, Baggy. Because you have went back to your ship and left, you are the big loser. Congratulations. You, Samus Aran, have been labeled a coward from now until the end of the season. I'm sitting there like, I just took fucking god of shit. You're telling me I'm a fucking coward? and I'm not leaving. I still got more Emmys to kill. There better be a thing like you'll know, kill all the Emmys, because why wouldn't why wouldn't there be a thing for that? It's fun. Like as much as that one got a little annoying, it it is a fun challenge to figure out the environment to to aim and to melt it, and you know it's it's cool. Thank you. What's up, bitch? Oh. What's up, bitch? Gets nailed. Oh, perfect. Would you look at that? Excuse me. I don't like that I have to hold it. I wish I could just kind of. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I wish I didn't have to hold it. I wish I could just like, tap it and leave. Like, move on with my life, but. I got faints. Ran out. Oh. Fuck. I will say doing that is much faster than trying to, uh... Soccer! Uh, doing that is much faster than trying to, like, open, like, shoot all the missiles in the environment to be like, Where is it? I don't know. The bitch blocked the door! He's like, not only have I blocked the door, I'll do it again if you let me. You are almost here, Samus. Get the fuck out of Dodge. Uploading data. This area, Frenia, appears to have been a sanctuary. The oh, Mothman conducted Dive ceremonies ruined. and rituals here. Now, it all lies in ruin. It was likely destroyed in the chaos following the X's arrival. That would match what Quiet Road said. Mm. They have turned it into a hive. I have also detected the presence of an unusually powerful axe. God, I hope it's me again. I hope it's me. I hope it turns into me. We call that the Emmy in this area could see through terrain and stun targets with an electric shock. I don't recall that. <laughs> My sensors indicate this Emmy has been reactivated. We can assume that Raven Beat is behind this too. Make good use of the Phantom Cloak and you should have nothing to fear. I don't believe you. Careful, you got a problem with that lady? Ask me if I got a fucking problem with that lady. Um. What the fuck is that thing? I hate it. Right, um. Uh, nah, that's not true. I like the idea of it that it's like mostly invincible. It's like mostly invincible until it's like affecting the environment. Like, that's what I'm like. Oh, shit! Hey, come back here. Yeah, bitch! There, that's a little helpful. Alright. Ow, what the fuck? Are these two cars this thing not going? Alright. Is anyone else noticing the music kind of getting more stressful? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's power bomb bullshit. I, I, I got any of that.
Is it like the, mu it's, it's, the music started to... The music is kind of giving me the impression there's a time limit right now, and I don't think there is. But it's really starting to sound like there is? It's making me kind of concerned. Yeah, I, I I love this aspect of the uh, of the X's that they're like constantly trying to run away to turn into a different kind of enemy. Like that's really it, it, that that is really cool. To me. So like you know, I kill a guy and they're like fuck and they just run and turn into something else. Like shit, this now. I have videos stuck in my head all of a sudden. And I don't know how to properly explain that. Did I ever post one video in the Discord of, um, for lack of better terminology, Vamp, uh, Dracula talking about the gangster? Saying, like, I am my own devil, I don't even know myself. Shoddy fell in love with. Uh, Shoddy fell in love with me, that's her problem. <laughs> I don't even like this is like this weird big rant I feel like was based on something that I have no idea what it was. Did I, did I ever post that on the first? If not, I'm gonna look for him posting it. Stuck in my head. Alright, uh, let's look around. Alright. We got this, which I feel like is probably gonna ah! Okay, so fun fact, it's cold there. I found the freezer. I never did? Oh, I have to find it. Not right now. Not right now, but I'll have to find it. Fuck this. God, how long does that thing just sit there? No! Things like, I know I heard some. Okay, just recharge, recharge. Oh, wait, no, I, I keep forgetting I have to. Even that much movement is enough? Man, I, I, I'm pretty sure there's like a gerbil here. An underwater gerbil. See, here's the problem. If, if I, if I, if I go on Twitter and go through my bookmarks. You never have to go through a man's bookmarks on Twitter. There's too many dumb memes and anime girls. <laughs> memes that I forget to send to people. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. How the fuck am I supposed to get past this shit? Nice, I think you just need to bite the bullet. Fuck! Thing's radius is huge. See, I have to move. I have to move. You can see the objects. Set. Hear me out, Mister. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Take those things into battle. They're incredible. Fuck. I'm just. I feel like I'm just gonna have to book it. 
Wow, that is exactly the answer. The game's like, hear me out. What if you just run like a bitch? <laughs> Me. Bitch, shit. Do you know where I am? Bitch, you don't know my life. Bitch, you don't know my life. Bitch, you don't know where I am. I'm too. I'm, I'm just. I'm so lightning fast. Shit. You just never fucking know where I am or what I'm doing. Yeah, see that shit coming, did you? Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Shit. Nope. Oh, fuck! Well, I made more progress than I did last time. So you know what? I'll take it. No, no. Oh, shit. The battery at 8%. Charge your phone. No. There we go. That's what I was trying to do last time, see? Where, like, if I could just theoretically keep pulling myself fast enough, I could just get that. Alright, uh, I keep forgetting I can do this. I like that those guys block the door. Like that that's actually really cool. That they're just like, well, here I go. Ah oh, god, that enemy was stressful. But we did it. Cause we're amazing. Let's keep this party rolling. Okay, so that's just, uh, I, I imagine we're going to get the, uh, Seeker or whatever it's called missile soon. Wait a second. Oh, shit. I wonder if I could have used that guy's platform. Here we go again, boys. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Listen, 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 listen. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out, 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 hear me out. Would I would like you to consider? I like, I like, I like to positive. I like to positive report. I would like to. I would like to positive. I like to positive report. I like to positive report. Listen, there's a lot of things. That actually worked perfectly. They are platforms. That worked perfectly. That could not have worked better in my favor. Is that actually hurting you? I have no idea. Beautiful. That was, that mwah. Excellent, excellent. And thank you for all that money. Hot damn, life's looking good for the home. Oh, shit. Life's looking good for the home team. Also, I haven't said it off enough, so I will say it again. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope everyone's enjoying this. Our final stream of the year. I get the impression you're not supposed to. Like, I get, on one side, I feel like if you, I can't tell if it's timed perfectly enough, perfectly in such a way that, like, if you had perfect accuracy, you could do it, or if it's just, like, impossible. Like, you have the, 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 uh, the Seeker, which normally, most ga most of these Metroid games don't have the Seeker. They're pretty good about, like, 
timing it out, so... They're pretty good about timing it out, so that way it's, like, pretty obvious. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. When do I get the upgrade that makes it so I can shoot my mystical's best? I want to be able to shoot my misco. Oh, this place closed. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, Yo, it's got. Oh, you see that? It the. Okay, can't shoot those. It, it yeah, it zaps the ground. And it eats. Yeah. This guy's wrecking me. Yeah, this guy's wrecking me. And I can't counter him. Shit. Fuck. But yeah, thank you everyone so much for watching. Oh, so the general plan is, um. I think we will not be streaming again after today until, uh, unless, like, for whatever weird reason I join in on someone else's, but I think everyone's taking a break. Um. Uh, yeah, there will not be another stream until, uh, January 2nd in which I think I will be with Spooky for the final episode. Shit. That's a really cool visual that uh, I fire a missile and it goes like this black hole and it disappears. That's really fun. Shit. Yeah, uh, it should be the final stream of Baldur's Gate 3 uh, on January 2nd. And then... We will basically only be playing Final Fantasy X. <laughs> that, like, I have no real intention to play anything else besides Final Fantasy X. Basically, until the baby's born. And then afterwards, I'll probably be taking a break. And then we'll figure out a schedule from there. Yeah. I don't know exactly how long Final Fantasy X is. I imagine it will take... I imagine if we just fully only play Final Fantasy X, that it will very happily take up the majority of the time. I don't, yeah, I don't know if we'll finish it. I don't know how close we'll get. Anything like that. No clue. I think this guy is just a matter of like, it's this attack. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Yeah, that attack is just so hard to dodge. It, yeah, I basically have to put myself into such a position so that... Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. This guy better be the fucking secret missile. There we go. Get... Oh, shh. No, 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 no. I completely forgot that this was a thing. Yep. Misses, misses, misses. Nope. Fuck. God fucking blast them past this asshole. No, come on. I don't know if you can do this better or worse. Gimme. Give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme. Storm missile. Fuck yeah. Yeah, if um if for whatever miraculous reason, although I doubt it, if we finish Final Fantasy X before uh before the baby's born then i don't know we'll play a one-off or something something low-key or i'll just go on break early but i doubt i will to be honest and then once i do return it, you know if and when i do return uh the first party will be finishing final fantasy x and then we'll figure out a franchise series or whatever uh Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I like it. I like it already. 
I thought it was gonna be a cutscene, so I was like, uh. I was looking for the counter, so I said they just like. Okay, so I think the first place that had something like that was over here. Yeah. So if I if I get there, I can avoid him. We can make our way down there, perhaps. Alright, it in it. Oh, that is very nice. Look at that. Look how smooth, how silky smooth that was. Downright sexy. Y'all might give me weird looks for calling weaponry sexy, but like, we've all been there. <laughs> First, you're just like, ooh, ooh, I like it. Um, not much changed. Kind of figured stuff was up there. I'm still debating on the next franchise series. I know everyone is like, Max, you need to do the Final Fantasy VII stuff, but I don't think that counts as a franchise. I still want to play Armored Core, but like on one side, I don't know if anyone else is interested in it at all, just, just as a whole. I, as a whole, I don't know if anyone else is interested in it. Or if anyone ever wants to wait that long for me to play through them all. That is true. We could we could do a shorter one. Yeah, pick Ratchet or Clank or Jack and Dexter or Spyro or something. Just something we just blast through and call it good. Bias is playing that right now. Hey, that's fair. That's fair. There's also God of War, but God of War, especially the later ones, are a much longer experience. I feel I. Sh I don't know. I think they were on the other side, though. So if I go over there, that'll screw me over. So I think we head to the left. Not your best bet. No, no. Oh, I love that visual of the door being open into streams of ice. Like, that's such a good visual. Ah, bitch! No, 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 no! You asshole! Asshole, I'm trying to stop me. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck out of here. Yeah, it could be a nice short experience, right? Nothing's wrong. Like,. I have such a bad habit of with my franchise series, like, that's it. Oh, I have done that. I've done that. That's not a useful plan I got down there. No, I keep thinking I can counter that, and I can't. It's the other melee. It's that one. Damn. You're fucking me up as I'm countering someone. Shit. Like, a lot of my franchise series, I keep thinking of making them big, long, painful ordeals, and, like, you know, like, every Friday night. But, like, nothing's wrong with just picking something small and short, uh, small and bite-sized and fun, you know? What if I do? Shit! Mm, stretch. Mm, stretch. I wonder if, like, if my plasma shots can do enough damage. Okay, first off, is there a Healy station nearby? Like, hot damn. Yeah, well, I mean, there's only two of them, so... It was just... Oh, yeah, that's right. It was just nice, quick fun. As opposed to... Well, it also helped that, like, the gameplay was, like really well thought out and really interesting as opposed to say uh the halo franchise series where after game three of like what are we doing we're fucking killing the covenant amazing revolutionary a work of art like wow who could have fuck 
That guy's timing changes so much. Where it's like, oh my goodness, it's revolutionary. We're killing grunts. Amazing. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I don't want to cancel. I want to continue. It's like, amazing. <laughs> what about the next game? Lo and behold, the needler still sucks ass. Amazing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I was definitely a bit more butthurt for that game, or with uh, Halo. Well, it also because, like, Halo in, okay, I, I liked playing Halo, but there definitely was the kind of moment of, like, there definitely was, like, oh my goodness, that's amazing, of, like, people like this game not for the campaign, they like it for the multiplayer, they like it for the multiplayer, and it's important to remember. But like Silent Hill, almost all those games I beat in one to two streams. They were also very nice and bite-sized. Okay. Oh, I don't think that... Wait, does that actually do damage? I don't think it does. I think I have to. Wow, this is the worst situation. Oh, I could have counted that one. I could have counted that one too. I see the red. I keep thinking it's going to be red. I'm like, oh, fuck. At least this time I'm going to do it with like more health. So like, I did it again. Walk and go. But um, yeah, I forget if I promised any other franchise series that I wanted to do because you know me, I'm forgetful. But uh, oh wait, there was Tomb Raider. I'm gonna be honest, I have very little interest. <laughs> Tomb Raider 1 pissed me off. Like, I'm sorry, it just did. Like, I'm sure the other games are better, alright? I can crack the fuck. I can basically bet anything that the other Tomb Raiders are a marked improvement, right? But my goodness, that first game. Oh. Fuck you, hit me while I was countering you, whore. Or while I was countering, fuck you. Ah. That's that Dark Souls 2 bullshit where it's like you're backstabbing someone else and another enemy is like, I can still swing at you. Fun fact. Your ass ain't safe. <laughs> you think you safe and you ain't. <laughs> uh, I, I would want to go back. Okay, I do want to go back. Megan loves you. But like, that game, that first game just pissed me off. So much. And hey, you know, if it starts rough, it starts rough. Ah, shit. Like, that's fine. It happens. Shit. Good shot. Right. Nope. God, that blast in the air. Ah, it still got me. Oh my goodness, that still got me too. Oh, and whenever it is a counter, I miss it. Because I'm dumb. Oh, God, this is a lot. Ah. Wow. Right, um, yeah, so I, I forget if there was any other ones you guys wanted me to play. Uh, or if it was just between God of War, Armored Core, and uh, Tomb Raider. Unless, yeah, we just do a fun short one. I don't know. I don't think there's any other... <laughs> I forget if there's any other games. Jail, was there any other games that you were like, Max, you must play blank? I think it was... Yeah, I think it was mainly just Tomb Raider, right? Or not Tomb Raider, uh, the Final Fantasy shit. The Final Fantasy, whatever the fuck. Oh my goodness, the snipe! God, I thought that'd be a counter. Oh, I can't take her down that one. 
This is fucking rough. That still hit me. How did that still? Oh my god! They catch me in the air. They catch me in the air. Tear is bullshit. Oh, I think the other one was gonna be the fighting game franchise series, but I mean, I've kind of done some of that on my own, at least with a uh, Street Fighter and Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. But uh, Street Fighter still—I haven't played Street Fighter in a while. That game made me mad. Fucker. All right. I love that they have an understanding of angles. I love that shit. Oh my goodness, fuck you. Fuck you, my lack of timing. Oh my, but fuck, hear me out. Fuck you. Nope. Shit, ow, 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 ow. I, uh, I like Street Fighter a lot, okay? I think Street Fighter is a lot of fun. But a lot of it just kind of after a while feels like it... Fuck you. It turns into bullshit. It turns into spamming. I don't like the same guy just throwing me endlessly and me feeling like I can't do anything. I don't like it. Some characters feel like they can just... They just have moves. Some characters feel like they just have moves that just, like, take half your health. And, like, that's just the end of it. You don't get a say in the matter. Like, oh, and, and, like, I barely got to, like, I think it was in silver. And I was just getting my ass whooped. And it wasn't even, like, my ass is getting whooped, but I'm having fun. It was just my ass is getting beat. Like, embarrassingly so. <laughs> kind of like what's happening right now. But you know what? I'm actually getting a hang of it. So you know what? I'll say, I'll say. Guess what? I have infinite range, motherfucker. Shit. I'll beat you. I play this like I play Super Smash Bros. right now. <laughs> like, it's a lot of, like, just avoidance. It's a lot of avoidance, dashing. Ow. Like, I still love Super Smash Bros. And I think, like, I kind of I kind of like Marvel vs. Capcom more. But I also recognize Marvel vs. Capcom is incredibly shit. It's incredibly flaily in a lot of ways. It's very much a game of, like, uh, you touch someone once and you can kill them if you play it right. And that's not fun for a lot. Oh, fuck. I tried to, I tried to dash to the left out of that. And, like, that's not fun for a lot of reasons, too. But, like, I don't know. I think I, I think I need to play more fighting games. Like, more variety of fighting games. Which is why I wanted to do, the, like, the franchise series. Where, like, we play enough of each game to get a good grip on how it works. Not a perfect grip. But, like, a decent grip. Yeah. Uh, just, you know, uh, enough that we're having fun with it, right? And that, like, we generally understand what's going on. And then we move on to the next one. Just the idea of like just being a celebration of fighting games in general. But I don't, I don't know if that'd be fun. I feel like when it comes to those kinds of games, people watch to see someone who is exceptionally skilled, not to see someone who's being a shit. Oh yeah, the DBZ. What's the what's the uh, the most current one called? I forget. But I would love to try it. Like all the Life Arrow videos and stuff. It makes the game look very fun. The only problem is, I feel like I need to actually watch Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I, yeah, I feel like I would need to actually watch Dragon Ball Z because um, I only got to... Well, I can charge this at a time. What are you doing this, actually? Oh, shit. I I wonder if it, yeah, I wonder if it's like actually a benefit to... Nope, it, yeah, nope, I don't think that trick's gonna work. I think they're too mobile. 
Soul Calibur, I've only played once, and I, I want to go back to play that, that as well. You don't have to, but it's probably more fun if you do and you enjoyed it. Um. Oh, Dragon Ball, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, like. I, I feel like I just should. Because there's so many characters. Like, you know, I've. Okay, I think I just said it, but like. I think I mentioned it before, but I only watched Dragon Ball when he was a kid, and it was basically just a little bit after uh, Broly blew up the moon, which was like, what the fuck? That's a thing you can do? And I was really annoyed by the show because uh, Goku was just better than, not Broly, uh, Turtle, Turtle Senpai, Turtle Senpai, whatever his name is, uh, Master Roshi. I was annoyed that Master Roshi was like training for hundreds of years or whatever, had the ability to blow up the moon. That's a thing you could just do, I guess. And um, Goku still beat him. That annoyed me. I didn't like that. Like. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not actually thinking about this fight for a little bit now. Which I think means I'm doing good. Ah! Oh shit, right, never mind. Nope. I'm just leaving. That's the secret, yeah. <laughs> I love that he charges it. Yeah, bitch. I don't know if that actually does any good, but it makes me laugh. That's right, I'm, just, I'm gonna keep. Ah. Yeah, I wanted to do that, be cool. Yeah! That was fun. That was fun. I enjoyed that. That was difficult as fuck, but that was that was a lot of fun. Oh. I'm gonna block the door from you. It's like why? I don't know. Cause it's fun. Ah, oh, damn it! Th they are on the other side. Son of a bitch. That's okay, now we know now we know next time. Alright, um so we probably can like head up there then. Uh well wood cutting to runescape. How's how's old school runescape been going, by the way? Uh a friend of mine's been talking, I think you mentioned a little bit about uh leads. He's been really enjoying it. I've still been playing uh I've still been playing normal runescape. Uh he reminded me and I thought it was pretty funny. That, uh, I was like, hey, I recently got like 99, uh, oh, shit. hey, I recently got, what was it, 99, like, smithing and, uh, agility, and I'm now work, and, yeah, 99 smithing and agility, I'm not quite sure to work on next. He's like, oh, that's cool, but it doesn't count. It's like, why doesn't it count? Well, because it's new RuneScape, so, you know, it's kind of easy to stand at a bank and do it. <laughs> you know, it just doesn't count. It's like, damn, hurt my feelings. <laughs> He's probably kind of right though, but like, I've still been enjoying playing it. I, I'll admit though, I haven't really been doing any quests. It's a lot of like, doing AFK shit while I'm at work. If any of you wonder, what does Max do? Oh, why does it stay on Discord? You know, Max is just off playing RuneScape, that's why. Because I just set my guy to do AFK shit. Space Trap, let's go! What does it do? You jump higher. Oh! I believe I can fly. I gotcha. I believe I can touch the sky. Me, 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 night and day. Don't remember the words anyway. I believe I can show something, something near before. I am definitely not a hack. I'm 100% a hack. I, um, okay, so they just got us back here now. So we can't go in there. 
there's there's no one to kill in there. That room's sealed, so presumably I need ice resistance then I can go back. Um, I think I'm good to leave, honestly. Like, okay, that'll get us back to that'll get us back to Gavardan. What's in? Uh, yeah, I'll get us back to Gavardan. What the fuck's in Gavardan? Okay, uh, we can probably. back to that that might be something useful oh we could probably get back to that too but I, I can't tell if that's a cold zone or not uh fuck it, yeah I believe I can solve. basically we need we need something to resist ice we need something to resist ice and we need something to make it so we can actually like move the water that's the main thing if we can get those that'll be a huge boon That's right. I should watch Dragon Ball. I still need to finish Blood Train. I need to finish that for Spooky, but I keep getting distracted. It's like down. Fuck. Um. Wait. Well, I guess I can hit that. But then, what does that get me? Yeah, it gets me nothing. Uh, I, I, I can't, I can't, um, no, actually, never mind. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if we, if we, okay, what, so what if I, oh, what if, nope, what if I go back here? Okay, so if we go back here, we can probably make our way down. Access is open, okay, good. Okay, so we can make our way down to that cold zone. That'll fuck us up. Um, we could probably make our way through here. Check out. I feel like if there was something, it'd be like right there. Um, but I'm not seeing a direct way to access getting back. And there's no teleporter. So I either have to go through the cold zone. Polar beam door. Polar beam. Oh, sorry. I read that wrong. It's power beam. I was going to say polar beam. Um, yeah, so I think, I think honestly, we need to like go back to over here. Because like, where else do we go? I got the stretchies. You know, where you feel like you just need to... You ever get that? Where you just feel like you need to stretch repeatedly? And, like, however much you stretch, it's, like, not enough? That's not sticking out. Dude, why am I not sticking out? Hold on. I don't know if that's, like, the sign of I need a chiropractor, I need someone else's help to stretch, or if, like... I'm not active enough, so my body's like, I feel like I need to move. I feel like I need potential. Or I, I, I have potential that it must be used. I'll take that. This whole week I've been operating on five or less hours of sleep tonight. Which I'm sure some of you guys are out there like, 
Oh, you got four hours of sleep? Look at you, but like... I'm tired. I'm a growing boy. Nah, I'm, I'm determined. I want to finish this game. But I appreciate it. I was not paying attention to that guy. We're getting older. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Thanks for reminding me that I'm going to be fucking 30 soon. I'm 28 for the record, but like... Actually, wait, hold on. Yeah, next year I'm going to be 29. Fuck, I'm old. Um, I guess I could have gone the other way. But it's a secret here, so... I got gray in my beard, I'm allowed to nap. That's the rule, that's how it works. You got gray in your beard, like you're you're legally justified. Oh, I just realized the elevator music's still on. Um I can't get into that one. Yeah, I feel like down there is it. I don't like that it flashes when I can eat it. Um I'll be 31 in a few weeks. I don't know if the I don't know if the few weeks I don't know if the few weeks will include uh, a time that I'm streaming, but half a Thursday if not. That was the longest elevator ride right? I've been. What sucks is like, okay, so I turn off, right? Yep, and it's like immediately the game's like, we know where you're going, bitch. There goes my theory. Fuck. Where do I go? Um, well, that's another shortcut. I guess if I go back up, I can hit that up and see if there's like a connecting thing right there. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Homeboy's gonna wake up and I'm not gonna like it. Homeboy's waking up! <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, thanks. Usually I'm celebrating now, but I like to just vibe on it for the most part. I mean, I switched to last for you, so if I cut, I'll try to do that. It's all good, man. I totally understand. I appreciate you being here. And Jail's like, what about me? I'm making people eat what you call it, a corpse starch. It's like, that's concerning. Jail, I need a report. How's, it, how's the game going? Because it looked like a lot of fun. And if Jail's not here, I apologize for, you know, publicly calling your ass out. Oh, hold on. Oh, I love that shit. That doesn't help me, though! Fuck! Mm. Fuck. I would say, normally in this situation, guess I need to go back. But, there's no way to go back. That's the problem, like... Every valve is closed, energy recharge, okay, um... Use that, well I already did that one, okay, um...
Ah, I gotcha, I gotcha. I have no idea what I would be, but I'm gonna bet right now I'd be a fighter because I love fighters. So just pick whatever the veteran is at Dark Tide. I get equivalency. What makes me convinced that the solution is here and I'm just missing it is that, like. I can't go down to any of those lower areas. And if I go to here, this path, this path is blocked. And there's. Yeah, this path is blocked. So it's like, oh, well, then I need to go here. <gasps> no, I can't. I can go up here. Because I have the. I, I have the. I, 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 oh, I can. I, I can. Oh shit, I can. Okay, okay, we need to head back then. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. At least I think I can. I'm like 90% sure that I can. Fuck yeah, let's go. So what all the power-ups we need? Uh, we need some way to not get murdered in the ice. Uh, yeah, we need some way to not get murdered in the ice. And then we need some way... To uh, move in the water, and then we need power bombs. Oh fuck! I'm sorry to hear that. throw white blue pillows at me, I just start spinning. Have you guys not done that yet? <laughs> just saying it's an option. Heck, I bet a lot of the different effects that you guys do, if I turn on an effect while it's happening, it'll do something kind of funny. Alright, okay. Wait, no. Fuck! Wait. Nars, it's a missile! I can't leave. Mm -hmm. I... All right, I'm gonna cheat just for just for sake of like I said, we want to make sure this game finishes. Okay, hold on. Metroid Dread stuck between Ferenia and Gavran. Alright, in Gavoran, there's a spot with a lot of water under the energy recharge. You can space jump underwater to get to the green teleporter. What green teleporter? Second, uh, in Govern, there's a spot with a lot of water under the energy where you can space jump underwater to get to the green teleporter. Oh, there must be a block there I can break. Okay, okay. You guys might call me a cheater, and fair enough, I accept it. But like I said, we, we want to finish this game by the end of the night. Oh, yeah, I see. Yep, yep. Oh, damn it. I fucked it up. My timing was not perfect. See, the, the timing changes because you don't actually... See? Yeah, and then I and then I would sit here and go like... 
Yep, there it is, there it is. Okay. Oh, fuck. Well, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck that missile. Who gives a shit? Now we can teleport back there. Uh, what exactly that will give us, I'm not sure. Uh, looks like a whole brand new area, so fuck yeah, let's go. It's not you guys on the Discord sending me memes for me to share with the public. Like, what the fuck? Actually, I can't really share memes with the public very well in this video. In, uh, when I do, when I do console recordings, but you still get the idea. Oh, look at that. Uh, what the fuck is. I'd say, does it doesn't matter that it's a different color? that make it so we can actually do a proper return trip and then let's okay good we already got that one we don't have that one yet though that's okay i could probably hop over there though and then uh, open that up but like since it's yeah it's not it's not a high priority plasma beam cover i have no idea how to even get that but we have our heading this game really is well designed like i, I really like it, it it's nice that there's like a really good flow to where you're supposed to go. It's just not always obvious. I guess that's it. Oh shit. Um. Uh, oh. Where? I'm not supposed to use that. There must be some way later on to like invoke the speed boost. It's like how how there's not enough room. Hold on. Let's test that. No, there's not enough room. There's no 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 no. no. There there must be a different angle. There yeah there must be there must be a different angle to uh, get to. So instead, we'll go back to the original plan of... There you go, and then... Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. That actually might work out. I still find this area creepy as shit, though. Like, um, when I was playing Dave the Diver, uh, there's a spot where basically you're told to, like, find an artifact. This happened pretty early on. It's not a spoiler. And, um, when you pick up the artifact, you realize that the back, the back cavern wall has actually been in a, a giant squid that's been asleep the entire time. That it just, like, it wakes up. It's, like, you know, the eyeball's, like, really close by. And it's, like, and then it, like, goes and swims off kind of a thing. That's what I feel like is going to happen. Or there's going to be, like... I'm gonna see like something in the distance and be like, what's that? That's crazy. And then realize that like it's a shark the size of like God coming towards us. You know what I mean? Oh, sh oh God. Oh, I fucked that up. Let's see if I can pull the same thing I did in. Nope. That timing must be immaculate. That, until I can get the fucking Mario suit. And then the game's just like, fucking do whatever you want. <laughs> fly around, fly, to you to, fly your ass to the moon for all I care. I'm struggling to try and figure out what homeworld my character should have. Uh, fuck. See, I don't actually know Warhammer lore very well. Like, that's not a joke. I actually just straight up don't know the lore very well. 
Which I know is like, Max, you're supposed to be an expert on the lore. Like, on that. I just like playing the games. Shit. Oh, uh, that actually works out, though. That's fine. That's fine. Because then I can just go over here again, and with that one platform moved, I'll need a little bit of height anyway. Nailed it! Please be something good. Please be something good. Please be the various suit because that felt very tricky, but I just got away with right there. Oh my goodness, everything's next to Parasite. I feel very clever that I did that shit game, so please give me something good. Shit. Shit. Really though, a giant ass squid is gonna come eat my ass at some point. It's gonna happen. I tell you right now, I'm not gonna like it. Shit. Uh, let me just. Oh, I can't do that yet. Okay. Yeah, like that right there, that like the same enemy is reused multiple times. I actually really like that. Like sure, it can get kind of annoying if, you just are, if you're just trying to kill it. But like it's also really cool in the sense of like... It feels like there's an enemy that's constantly evolving to try to kill you. Oh, oh shit, what have I done? I fucked it up. Uh... What does a profile pic in the Discord give you for homeworld vibes? For your uh your profile pic? Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong. Doing the alert sign just because I don't answer immediately. I'm getting murdered! Um correct me if I'm wrong. Is it your profile pic Naruto? And like his son? Oh shit, I should I should have done that. Because that's probably the actual progress right there. Oh my goodness, those fish are fucking insane. Shit. Is it your pick Naruto? And like his son? Or Kaka is it is it Naruto and his son or Kaka or not Kakashi? Uh fucking Um What's Naruto's dad? The guy who's like the speed demon. Alright, uh, okay, I'm going to general. Uh what is this? Oh hey! Panda streaming. Um Okay, wait. <laughs> what the fuck, gay little link twerking chat? First off, how dare you? Her name is, I forget, Saria? <laughs> like, she is adorable, but she doesn't, she doesn't twerk. Um, that's some Amazonian looking shit right there. God, what is that evil ass looking, like, no vampire nobility bullshit? Your headpiece? I don't know. It's kind of like giving me some jungle vibes. Like I don't know. What are your choices? What what are your what what are your what are your what are your choices? What are your what are your choices? Also, just what kind of character do you, are you making? Like that 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 influence. <laughs> like I'll probably choose like um. Is it start the C the jungle homeworld? No, 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 no. Asshole, asshole. No, 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 no. You're an asshole. Ow. It, it, I mean, it said it was a fortress world, right? Did I read that correctly? So what's a fortress world? I mean, just with a picture. Yeah, some kind of smarmy mo nobility. Think. 
little bit of a dick move, but it's also kind of funny, so fair enough. Just wait until I get wave beam or whatever, like you shoot lasers through fucking walls. Oh, 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 I know exactly what to do. Da -da -da -da, bitch. Bye bye. No, 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 fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah, ha 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 ha. I mean, in that kind of game, honestly, like. Oh, God, that'd be really fun in a Warhammer context. Make, like, a smarmy, like, you're not actually a noble, but you keep trying to, like, convince people that you are. Like, you're a swindler. You know what I mean? So it's a lot, it's a lot less about, like, taking down chaos or anything so much as avoiding the law and manipulating the Inquisitors to, like, go for your political opponents or something. Like... Oh, shit, shit. Run the fuck away! Shit! Oh god, Space Whale! He's got the Roomba! Motherfucker out here swiping for shit! <laughs> like, she looks like to be writing a book held up by Servo Skull. Other ser yeah, like, that's a very Inquisitor thing, because don't the Inquisitors and the Mechanicuses normally use the Servo Skulls? I don't know. Oh. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I remember that mechanic. Yeah. I'm a genius. I'm so smart. I'm so smart and clever and definitely not a dumbass. Let's see, so you're thinking more of the Imperial Homeworld background. I was thinking Forgewood because they have the Adeptus Magnus. Right, but it didn't seem like you yourself were trying to become a robot. It felt like more you used the robot. You used those around you. You know what I mean? Maybe you're trying to manipulate the last little bit of humanity the Adeptus Mechanicus have to be your own. Like, you're convincing everyone. This, it would essentially be a diplomacy victory. I'm I'm describing going for a diplomacy victory or convincing your enemies to go to war. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is this is some very manipulative bard shit. Just from that picture is kind of the vibe I'm getting. You're going to be a bureaucratical asshole. <laughs> and somehow, whenever anything good happens, you're always the one taking credit. And you're like, yes, and you see, you can't save your home world for a minute unless you get my assistance. I don't know how in-depth the game's gonna go, but like, apparently they're the same people who made the one Pathfinder game, which I heard was very, very good. So I'm excited to, I'm excited to play them. Like, it, it looks like a lot of fun. Alright, um... I always just clean these guys up. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my goodness, fucking eradicated. Yeah, I can see that, but like, how do I get there? What does it mean? Same with that, how do I get there? What does it mean? Yeah, let's get shot. Maybe if I get to the super bomb or something, it'll, like, it'll explode in just a bunch. You're being weird. Uh, Frick, what should I have plus 10 to? Strength, toughness, agility, imp perception, willpower, fellowship. Uh, is fellowship your charisma? That's the question I would ask. 
Yo, what? Yeah. What the fuck good did that do? No clue. Let's find out. I'm just breaking shit at this point. Um, yeah, like it's what's what's your charisma? What's your ability to like manipulate people? What's what's your like, what's your deception? Are you sure they're not like you can't like hit alt or anything to like what skills are associated with you, you know like that kind of is it time for the purple is it time for the purple i still think the blue looks better than the gold but let's see oh mamma mia Ooh, that's a good look that's good. I like it. I like it more than the yellow. Finally. Finally. Got ourselves the gravity suit, motherfuckers. Greatly reduces damage. Insulates Samus from extreme cold. It also allows Samus to move freely in water. Slightly increases the mate. Oh my goodness. Finally. Golly, it, shit was getting. I don't know about you guys. Shit was slow. Not no more, bitch. I'm flying at a million miles an hour, motherfucker. That's right. I can infinitely fly in the water. Didn't see this shit coming, did ya, bitches? Didn't see this shit. Just wait till I get that screw attack. All right. Now where do we go? All right. So we got the sense block. Okay. Yeah. Let's just let's just swim up. Oh my goodness, sweet lady freedom. Let's make out. Oh yeah, hold on. That's that's gotta be super attack bullshit. You know what? I'll still take it. I'll still take it. Oh my goodness, that's ah. That took so long to get. Yeah, shove that shit in. Let's go. Ships have spread across the entire planet. God, that was fucking fast. This planet is either really small or they're really fast. There is another problem you may have noticed. The temperature of ZBR has started to fall. Really? I cannot say for certain if the X are to blame, but the drop in temperature is indisputable. The gravity suit should keep you insulated from the issue. I, I also like how the, uh, my shoulder pads... Okay, I like it when they're big old spheres, but I also like that they kind of look like they have, like, little spike points. Like, you know what I mean? Like... Oh, come on! The rat... Bastards. Right. Yeah, so what's your, uh... Wait, hold on. Do I want to try to back there? Okay, hold on. So... Uh -huh. Nah, I'm basically good here. Yeah, fuck it, sure. I don't know why I want to travel there, but, like, it's where the game is leading me to go, so, like... Sure. Nothing else I can just make my way back up. Uh, anyways. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking perception more because the eyes kind of give a vibe of her always watching. Yeah, she would very much be... Okay, okay, so strength, toughness, agility. We can throw all those out the window. We don't need any of those. Like, if you're getting into a fight, you're doing something wrong. Uh, intelligence, perception, willpower, friendship. I don't know which one. You know what I mean? Like... Uh, yeah, what's the... It, what, what exactly does willpower and fellowship do? That's my question. Welcome to, oh. Oh my goodness, everything requires fucking screw attack, doesn't it? Welcome to, oh shit. Welcome to the ice kingdom. Now am I still taking some damage? I'm taking no damage. I'm free as a bird. Unless, have I? Okay, they said the temperature was falling. Have I been here before? No, no, this is all new. 
But man, I got I got ice. I can do whatever the fuck I want. And my purple ball form looks amazing. My purple ball form looks like. Have you ever seen? Have you, do you guys know those toys? You usually at like arcades and like games and stuff. Where like it's designed in such a way that if you throw it, like. Ah, uh, this is this is gonna be hard to describe. Um. How do I describe it? The ball is designed in such a way so that the centrifugal force of it spinning as you throw it pulls it apart and shifts it and locks it. So, like, in one form, it's green, but then you, like, throw it up in the air and it, like, starts to spread out. And then as it locks back in, it turns blue because, like, it's a different side of the plastic. You, you guys know what I'm talking about? If you don't, I'll take a picture later and I'll put it in the Discord. Because I actually own one. Got it from my childhood. I thought it was the coolest shit. Sup, bitch? Oh, he's got a shield. Oh, he's got a shield. Try and pull it. I think I am actually still hurting. Oh, I could have countered that. Oh, I could counter that too. Okay. Yeah, get fucked. Alright, uh. Sure, makes sense, yeah. Like, you, would, you wouldn't know that much about them other than that they're evil. I wish I could just have the game dress the model up as a profile picture. You're like, damn, I look hot in that picture. What the fuck? Like, I'm, I'm kind of looking like daddy over there. Meanwhile, they're like, throwing me on the ship with like nothing except tank top. This is bullshit. All right, yeah, big palooka. Let's go. Ow. All right, yeah, big palooka. Bitch. Feel like hot damn. That's my potato. Oh, he pukes. He pukes! I wonder if I... Nah, see, I, I get hit. I get hurt. I get hit while, uh... There you go. Yep. Motherfucker! You can't tell me the way she fights like that. She ain't enjoying herself at least a little. Oh, okay. The game had to like really think about it for a second. So I was just like, uh, oh, what's going on, folks? That was an accident. What was I saying before? I forget. Yeah, there you go. That up permanently. It was like, man, I look like a baddie, and now they're sitting there. Oh, I'm looking, I'm looking kind of smexy, and now they're just like, you ain't got shit. It's like, well, fuck my life. Oh no, there's something here. Oh, I bet, I bet later on they're gonna. I bet I'm gonna get some kind of upgrade that's like the plasma beam in uh, the prime games, where they're like, now you can temporarily melt the ice, and then like that's how you can make it. Fuck yeah. And then like that's how you like navigate through that shit. Um, I don't have a way. There must be another option path. Now we've reconnected to a place we've been before. That's top. Damn. Yeah, this place I've definitely been to before. Still? Why not? Okay, let's try to figure out where to go next. 
charge beam frozen. Yeah, definitely. Yep, and I can't get that. Yeah, the place freezing is like really altering the landscape. But I can still do that kind of shit at least. Um, another door frozen. Another door. It's frozen. Like I'm, I'm just doing that to like make sure I'm not missing anything. But like, Samus, why are you back down here? What the fuck? Uploading data. I have determined the reason for the planet's rapid cooling. Thermal energy is no longer being routed from Catarist. Why is the entire planet? See, the problem is, is I have to like, because you took a screenshot of both uh, me and the uh, the picture. It's a little hard to tell. Hold on, let me let me zoom in. Enhance. That's an oh. Now that I actually look closer, I can see part of her is actually like, look, she's got tubes sticking out of her head and shit. That's not as sexy. Got to get the okay. Good. At least your picture doesn't have tubes in her head. So that's just your potential. Then no tubes, no tubes in your head. Don't 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 do that shit. No tubes in your head. Um. Okay, I'm gonna. This is not a cop out. I would say she looks more like a noble. Like you are a crime lord, but to ev like. Oh. It's not that like. You're a crime lord. You're, you're essentially. I'm trying to make. I'm like I with that picture. I see a bureaucrat. Like. It's not like Al Capone kind of a thing, you know? Like, you run major parts of government, but, like, no one really knows. because, Or no one can really prove it or connect anything to you, but, like, you're George Soros. Yeah, essentially, you're George Soros. <laughs> you ratted out fellow Jews the Nazis. You activated and Catarys is still operational. Some force must be physically blocking the routing of thermal energy. I suspect a powerful X is involved. You return here after solving the problem. The cooling has prevented you from exploring this area. There must be a vital ability hidden somewhere here. All right, that's very video gamey. I'd say noble over crime lord. You're gonna become a crime lord, but like, the political power you have is what's most important. Your influence. Make money, get paid. Like, Okay, obviously it's your character. I don't want you to tell you how to do it. But I really do mean it. Like, strength, <laughs> strength, toughness, dexterity. Fuck that. If you're in combat, you're doing something wrong. Or you need to convince others to go into combat for you. Yeah. There must be a vital ability hidden here somewhere. Thank you, Adam, for acknowledging that this is a video game. You know, you could have said something that, like, the freeze on the planet... The freezing of the planet will make it incredibly difficult for our ship to leave orbit, or it will likely impede progress or something. Or... Holy shit! That bat fucking exploded! Ah, uh, yeah, so we just need to basically escape. Oh shit, Oh shit. Didn't see that shit coming, did you, game? <laughs> I'm back. But yeah, like, all jokes aside, I'm essentially encouraging you to make George Soros. <laughs> Alright, so that door is frozen, and that door is frozen. Wow, so this game really is, like, perfectly leading me to where I need to go. It's encouraging me by saying, like, there's missiles here, and then I would discover that there's a door. Yeah, this game... As much as this game simultaneously does not tell you where to go, it really, it, it actually is guiding me quite a lot. Bitch. Didn't see that shit coming, did ya, motherfucker? Yeah, cause then I can't get through there, but you have the powers to get through there. That is interesting. I bet the door's frozen, yep. Okay, so is this the way to Katara's? Yeah, so it is. Uh, ooh, should I go with persuasion or coercion? Okay, so, uh, what's their definition of coercion? 
because if I had to, without thinking hard, without thinking hard, coercion straight strikes me as more of like you're lying or forcing people. You know what I mean? Like, that's really pretty how it does that. It, it strikes me more as like you're strong arming, you know? But is persuasion like the kindness? Like, you must see these. Because I feel like. I feel like. Ah, oh, they're, they're both really good. I. You're gonna level up both eventually, probably. Because I bet there's gonna be a lot of situations where they're like, you can't persuade, but you coerce. You can't coerce, but you can persuade. I'm gonna say persuasion first. Because you need allies, you need friends. You need to garner a little strength, a little power, a little influence before you can start like forcing people to do shit. You wouldn't want to, you know, hurt me or my ship. You might, you know, the Inquisitors have been known to be going around these parts looking for taints of chaos and doing such a thing like attacking an innocent noble like myself might incur their wrath if you understand what I'm saying. I have friends in high place, like, you know what I mean? Like that kind of shit. Oh, oh, uh, okay, I know what they want me to do. Oh, that's wrong. Whee! Alright, um... Once again, everything's fucking frozen! Holy shit, that melts. Alright, uh, let's see. God, this map is so well designed, it's like... Every map is designed to then be frozen and to have like a different arrangement. I can't imagine designing a map in a Metro game. Uh, I okay, okay, good. So coercion is basically coercion is basically intimidation. Um, yeah, I would say start with persuade. Starting with persuasion sounds right to me. You don't worry, you'll get to threats. Motherfucker. Open the fucking door. <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll get to the you'll get to the intimidation and shit. But at first start slow. We need friends after all. Dead people don't pay taxes, which is still one of my favorite sayings. I forget even where I heard that first. It might have been joking between my sister and I. It's just like dead people don't pay taxes. You gotta remember that. Someone's got to pay taxes. Someone's got to be a serf. Someone's got to work those mines. <laughs> Ooh, nice. But they can't link you to Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Persuade. Yeah. The fuck is that goo? What is this dead space shit? Oh, it's the invisible thing. Oh no, that might be the thing that was being experimented on. Shit, shit, shit. That's the break. So I have to in that moment then, oh, holy shit, that drains. So I have to then get over there to not get, damn. This is already like, there's a lot going on just from this one move. Oh shit. Oh, look at that hitbox. It's beautiful, and it shows you perfectly where it is. Okay, good. I can jump up there. Dark hand. All right, good. Oh, that is. Oh, I could have countered that. I love this design already. This is amazing. Wait. <gasps> uh. 
Oh. Ah, uh, I thought... I thought that was, uh... I thought that was, uh... Who's gonna call it? Um... A storm... Missile opportunity. But I was wrong. Oh god, it's still going, it's still going. Wait, oh I could have I could have done the speed boost. God, I love this moveset. This is awesome. This is such a good use of like all my abilities. That's something this game really does. Right, both coercion and persuasion would totally work. It's just, it, I would just say it'd be what, what do you want to start off with earlier. Okay, so, oh, damn it, I just messed up the jump. Oh, I didn't think that was a slight, I didn't think that was a slight. Holy shit. I'm, okay, once again, that is something this game absolutely nails. And uh, Return of Samus does, or, re, yeah, Return of Samus, whatever that game's called, really nails it too. Just how well it encourages you to use all of your games. Like, it's not just you'll never use this, you know, just do whatever. But, like, I love that. I'm not sure what he was doing with that movie wrap up side of the movie, though. Oh, shit. That's your better for that. Yep, all right. It's such a good move! Alright. Action. Okay, so I just blew up his arm. Counter, 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 watch out. Ah, way too late, way too late. Okay. Come on, come on. Ooh, that one's tight. That angle is tight. I'm pissed. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh shit. Okay, I wasn't sure where the angle would be. I thought it'd be above me. Shit. Also notice there's been no ways to out. There's been no ways to heal. I can't get over, like, I know it's like Max White. What a thing to fangirl over. Like, it's just one attack from an enemy. That, this attack is so well designed. I love it. I'm not even exaggerating. I genuinely love that shit. Also, I love that, like, he's healing from doing this, but he's still trying to. Oh, I fucked it up. I should have been way more aggressive. Oh, I love that it encourages you have to like go back and forth and if you don't leave fast enough He like just bites you. Oh, it's so good Yeah, give me your foot. Give me your foot. Fuck you. Fuck you mate. Piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah, we're going for a ride motherfucker. We're going for a fucking ride. I'm looking for the counter We're going for a fucking ride bitch Oh yeah Perfect, perfect. All right. Oh my goodness, I only have nine hit points left. Oh, I'm gonna, I might fuck this up. Oh my god, I hope he goes down. I have, I have to hope he goes down. I don't think he's going to. And I don't think he's going to. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I don't think I've done this perfect once. Yep. 
Officer use their willpower and fellowship to improve the combat abilities of their allies. That, that right there. Turn them into even greater threats to the battlefield. Core focus, extra turn, single target. But, yep, yep. Like I said, your goal is not. Be right back. It's all good, man. From what you described, your goal is not to fight. Your goal is to have other people fight. So already, just from right there, that archetype sounds perfection. Or sounds like perfection. Man, you make me really excited to play this game. <laughs> There's another archetype. Nope. <laughs> no, there ain't. Like, you're a... Congratulations. You're a bard. You're an evil, manipulative bard. But you're a bard. It reminds me of, um... So, you know, however a character is played, ver uh, played versus initially played. Uh, my... Megan described, or Megan wanted to make a bard that's essentially a social assassin. And this is kind of what that's reminding me of. Like, it's a bard that's not really a, like, she plays an instrument and she knows how to talk to people, but it's not because she's a sex machine. She wants to make people happy. It's about manipulating Like, she's an assassin because, like, or she's an assassin or a bounty hunter because it's like, oh, you know. What's the bounty on Dittitip person? Okay, and then like you convince them to turn themselves into like that kind of you know, dominate person, go arrest yourself. Or if you could come with me, that's what this is like. A lot. I love that. Except obviously in DD, you're not like running a ship and take them or a or a two or whatever, so obviously you got a bit more sway going on. Oh, that's devilish. Oh, my. the window is so small. Also, I love the idea that his, his laser is also I love that. I need it. This boss is so fucking I, I, I That's your window, and then you have to leave the window. Holy shit, that is tight. And then, oh yeah, the counter. Gimme, yeah, I think this is game. I think this is game. I have so many missiles, I can't even spend them all, which is really unfortunate. Where do you think you're running off to, bitch? You ain't even going anywhere. Beautiful. Immaculate bitch, bitch. Yeah, open your mouth at me again. See what fucking ha oh, right in the kisser. I love that. Like the way that, like, without even thinking, she grabs the edge and then she pulls out the gun. Oh my goodness, this is why Samus is the best girl. <laughs> she pulls the gun. It's like, no, we're still fucking going. Like, I will shoot you on the way down. That was an incredibly well-designed fight. Holy shit. This is glorious. This is so fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Open the gates. Oh, my goodness. What just an incredibly... What an incredibly well-designed boss. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. Oh, fucking screw that. Fucking screw. Okay, where's... We gotta go down there to find to find out whatever piece of material that shit had. So do I gotta, like, go around and, like, reopen the shit? So shit's not frozen anymore? Close thermal. Open thermal. Okay. So I'm guessing they just kind of want me to head back now. Because, like, shit's already unfrozen. Like, that, that was instantaneous. So yeah, I imagine they want me to head back. 
Because they're like, there must be something useful here. It's like, oh, really? Yeah, because I don't have whatever I need for that yet, so. A little easier to traverse, but it wasn't like it was that bad in the first place. Oh, wait, I just, yeah, I'm not even taking any damage from the fire. <laughs> I'm just ignoring that shit. Alright, is there any reason... Ooh, I could do that super quick. Fuck yeah, I might as well, like... There might be some, like, goodies, or maybe it's actually the intended path. Not to mention, I'm immune to lava, so, like... Hey, look, the item that I need is on the map. Well, that's yes, thank you. <laughs> I will go there in but a moment. Look at this real quick. Ah, it's another spot. I didn't realize you stream for three and a half hours. I feel like I got a bathroom. So this is a perfect spot. Let's take a quick bathroom break, and we will be right back, everyone. So, <gasps>
back as I put on my headphones. I'd like to say thank you all so much for watching. I hope everyone is enjoying this. I am having a lot of fun playing this game. This game, sure, there's some spots where I'm like a little frustrated every now and then, but like, this game is so well designed. And I, I, I love it. Also, I don't know, I don't know what that item is, but the game's convinced I need it. So it's like, all right, here we go. I mean, it's probably gonna be like a uh, heat beam would be very nice. Yeah, cause what uh, we need a screw attack, we need a heat beam. Yeah, just going through. Oh, and a super bomb. Just going through my list in my head of like what what things do you get in most Metro games. I don't know. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Just for the ASMR. Hold on. I don't know uh, what it says about me that I, like I played it up these games that like I know the tropes or it's like all right where's this is all right where's it there but I've just been loving this game and I hope you guys are too. I'm just looking around like wait. Yeah. <laughs> Surround stairs with powerful entry during a spin jump, allowing her to damage enemies upon impact. It can destroy screw attack blocks that are effective against enemies that are cloaked in electrical energy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. let me get that up, special dog. All right. Nope. <laughs> yeah, all right. Now, where can this take us now? Do now that I have this. Um, I mean, we can destroy that, which would get us. What? Come on, there you go. All right. There we go. Because I think now. Now, I don't see a reason for us not to uh, go back up, right? Is there still an Emmy station? Remaining Emmy is two out of seven. That's bad. I think we're good to go back, aren't we? I'm not sure. I'm sitting here just going like we got what we got what we needed, right? Right. I, uh, I think so. I assume. <laughs> I know you know assuming makes asses of you and me, but like I'm just saying, like, it seems. Question mark. Oh, I just realized. Did my armor have like that like green? That lightning bolt all the way down. I didn't really realize that. Oh, that looks nice. Alright, um. We can get that too, but. Okay, let's see if he says anything different. The door was locked, so I assume he's gonna be like, hi. Hi, Dean Data. Well done, Samus. Nope. You have stopped the planet from cooling. You have In saved. Addition, <laughs> you have saved us from global freezing. Now if global warming will reign supreme. Unreachable places. You are far more combat ready than when you first arrived, right. but you are still not prepared to face Raven. Beast. How do you know this? Probability of success in standing against him now. Why are you such an asshole? Do you have any directions for those previously inaccessible areas? It's like, no, I'm just gonna tell you the obvious and insult you. Thanks, asshole. I wish I had a way to like spend my missiles faster. I essentially want to increase it in missile firing speed. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's see how strong it is. I oh. Okay, it doesn't hurt me, it just bounces me off. I don't think it's actually. 
Uh, I don't think it's actually doing anything worth the while. My defense is higher, but I need to still be smart about this. I mean, I don't think I've really ran into many situations where I've actually, like, run out of missiles, but, like, I'll, I'll take it. I'm not going to say no. Okay, so... The green teleporter is here. Okay, so that's just them pooping me back upwards. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't really seem like there's a lot to do here. This is definitely them just being like, alright, get back to where you need to be. Alright, operative. Use this into perception to find and exploit weaknesses in enemy defenses. None can withstand the attack from an operative. Core focus. Precise single attack. So oh, so you're a sniper. So you're, you're, you're a sniper. I can see a sniper run being a lot of fun, but like... Yeah, consistent firing position. So you probably have like an ability like... um. Jay, have you played XCOM? I know we played XCOM on stream. Have you played it before? Because snipers had a lot of abilities like that. Even though, weirdly enough, they're pistols a lot of times are stronger than sniper rifles but like um yeah where it's like you fire and you can't move anywhere near as fast but like your shots are very powerful like a single target destroyer kind of thing you know what i'm talking about up there I bet is really important. Don't do that, but that'll get me stuck. Actually I'll be able to get right back. So fuck yeah, why not? Uh and analyze enemies and expose weakness keys don't be props to bring it down and boy. Uh bring it down I'm gonna assume is like uh I'm gonna assume it's like a hunter's mark or like deal 20% more damage to single target. You, you kinda like point at someone and say this motherfucker and like take it out. Voice of command, I imagine it's gonna be like, uh, yo, if I have to make it up, I imagine it's gonna be similar to like the, uh, Battle Masters commanding authority voice or whatever it's called in Baldur's Gate where you essentially, you spend an attack to point at a friend and say you should swing and then like they get another swing. Which, I've always questioned the usefulness of that ability, but I recognize it can be really useful for like, uh, uh, Barbarians and stuff. Someone that you know, someone that you basically know for sure will hit harder than you, or has a way to like guarantee that they'll hit. Oh, oh my! I say the last of its kind. That isn't an X parasite. Just kidding. Holy shit! Twice, motherfucker. Oh, how the oh, okay, 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 okay. Can we have can we have a civil ass discussion about this shit? Um, 
I just woke up. <laughs> it's all good. I was up till um. You would have been proud of me. I was up until three thirty last night, like a dumbass. <laughs> Because um, I was just chatting to a friend and we uh, got into the discussion of, you know, someday in the future I want to run a DD and d campaign. And he was telling me that, like, he was kind of laughing because he realized he accidentally, with his character, essentially made it a Starion. Like, unintentionally. Like, before he played Baldur's Gate, he basically wrote a version of a Starion. He said, like, a Starion matched with, like, Loki. And he thought that was pretty funny. Stay the fuck up here. Yeah, so I was up to you related as well. Yeah, how's it going? I eat the goo, eat the goo, eat the goo. No, okay, 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 for reals, boss time, motherfucker. Oh. Fuck, how did I get out of that shit? Is that seriously my window? Keep firing those little electrolytes at me, baby. Ow. Okay, well, I tried. Oh my goodness. Every hit took two bars. Shit. I went to snooze between eight or nine. God, you truly are a night owl, huh? What are you up to? If I may, if I may inquire. And if not, it's fine. When did you go to bed the day before that? Jay, I'm calling you out for what I already know is a factual place. Yeah. Alright, good, good, good. Alright, I guessed the wrong way. Shit. How am I supposed to get out of that? Fuck. This part's fine, like. I'm fine, fine, fine. Oh shit. Oh my goodness. I guess that's how I'm supposed to get out of that. Yep, that's it right there. That's how you're supposed to do it. Oh, alright, come on, come on. Give me, give me your jelly. Give me your jelly. Give me, give me your juju. Give me your jelly beans. I want, I, I want, I have it. Fuck you out of this giant gross thing. Give me, give me. Powerful bomb whose blast extends in straight lines, horizontally and vertically. While in Morph Ball, hold blank and press Y to set. Um. I do not understand what advantage is. I'm sure it'll give me an advantage of some kind, but I... Uh, I mean, I, can, I guess I can, like, do that to blow things up faster, but, like, I don't understand how playing Bomberman. <gasps> oh! Oh! Ha-ha! All right, all right. All right. That's that shit. Yeah. There we go. So, I'm sorry, actually, it might be the depression. <laughs> might be the depression, you know. Nah, I should 
I shouldn't. That, that makes no sense. I apologize. Concern. Were you at least doing anything fun while you were staying up? While she was awake and not sleeping. I can't talk. You know how skilled I am with verbiage. That's why I was encouraged you to play the social. Saw you Power Ranger assholes over there, motherfucker. Why I fucking go? Go to the cops, he's like, Good news, Samus, you're about to get your shit royally rocked. Uploading data. I don't care if your butt looked good, you gotta die. Bina is on the planet's surface. You finally made it, Samus. You kind of said an ass robot. There is still a problem. Destroying the planet will eliminate the ex parasites, but Raven Beat is unlikely to sit idly by as this happens. Does my ship have the ability to destroy the planet? Once he detects the danger. Can my ship just do that? Raven Beat's search for Metroid DNA poses a threat to the galaxy. You will never give up. The odds are still not in your favor, but you must end things here. I can't think Adam doesn't I am searching like... for his location. Return here later for an Return here later for an update. Yeah, you're searching real hard, aren't you? Computer ass sitting there munching on Cheetos while I'm fucking down. I do not have... Oh. I honestly thought he died. I honestly thought he died. That's why I was sitting there just like, fucking whatever. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, that's gonna be another gun. What the fuck? What the fuck? I can stop. I can only make one star bomb at a time. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm a little worried. So, how many pictures of a star in the year do you draw? Like, four or several? You're like, don't call me out like that, dude. What the fuck? I don't know what that does, but let's find it. I saw last night, I forget if you were on a, like, uh, Final Fantasy 14. Stuff you can pop up while I was playing with you guys. It's like, oh shit, there she goes. <laughs> You're gonna gas. Jail says, like, here we at, we gaslight all of Twitter into thinking that a new trend is really popular, and under every post, claim that it was inspired by something you made. That. <laughs> And when you get the most attention, you sell them Bitcoin. <laughs> no, no, you sell them NFTs. <laughs> Brilliant. We'll have a star coin. We'll be amazing. We'll make hundreds. Tens, even. 
maybe even one dollar. <laughs> I must need the. There must be a full on. Uh, I mean, later on, I get. Is it the wave beam? Or what is it that makes it so that, like, your shot space is, like, everything? I bet I'm gonna get that soon. So I was just starting my girl, and so I was my darker boy and Shadow Heart, and I rarely took my armor. I know. You give me shit. What's up, huh? Oh, uh, there it is. I'm glad that you're still drawn. Wrong button. Okay, let's go here just for sake of. Fuck you, Sonic! Selling NFTs. There's nothing morally wrong with doing that. Just kidding. As my father would say, NFTs are like crossbows. They're only worth something if you can convince an idiot to believe. Say like, how do I? Get over. Oh shit! Ow! I fought! I fought! I fought! I have all the tools in the world. Oh, okay, I'm so fucking strong. How is he gonna stop me from just from doing this? Oh shit. That's how. I was like, how is he gonna stop me from running away like a bitch? What could he possibly do? Stuns me through the map. Like, oh, that answers that question. Hold on. I'm blowing shit up. And he doesn't know where I am. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah let's fucking go. I, I can't tell if that was supposed to take me longer or not, or if I just I just decided to do the right thing. I just figured it out immediately and just capitalized on that shit. I'll do ego powerful then. <laughs> oh. There we go. Uh. You got the time. Alright, let's kill a bitch. I only knew this bitch for... Actually, wait, hold on, I just realized. Oh no, it is the same bitch that's connected down there. I was gonna say, like, I've only knew this... I've only known this bitch for, like, ten seconds, and I'm already gonna ruin his life. It's like, no, I actually do know this bitch quite well. Let's just go ruin him real quick. The main downside is going to be we're, we need to find a position of strength of which we can do this with.
trying to like make okay that's my loop that's my loop it's like i was fighting to uh it's like i was fighting to make room Capable of more <laughs> jail. That is an actually very inspirational thing, even though you said it in the in the context. Oh shit! That's right. <laughs> Motherfucker snuck up on me. But um, but an incredibly motivated motivating thing for you to say, even though it was in the context of like you are capable, then so much more. Now go destroy my pictures. Okay. Or destroy nations of pictures as of now. Give every human being the horny. Bring the uh, bring the birth rate down to zero be due to their first conquer. Gonna do, bitch. Okay. Right there. there he is. There he is. The moment he breaks through that shit, he's gonna start eating it. In fact, I think he's eating it right now. He's eating it right now. He's eating it right now. Hold the angle. Hold the line. Hold the line. Come on. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Mexi. Alright. He comes up behind to eat your booty. That's what he did last time. Okay, this time I'm gonna. Okay, okay. I was gonna say I'm gonna specifically wait until he gets a little close. Oh! Homeboy moving fast! You saw that? Last time he was being careful. Instead, he's just like, fuck it, we go. We're going now. He was fucking shaboo. <laughs> I got the purple juice, which lets me. I think it changed my color armor. Yes. Fuck. Fuck yeah. Through and see, yep. Can also destroy wave beam color covers, which I assume. Are those green ones I couldn't do anything with? Yep, there it is, right up there. Fuck. Why does it help me? Oh, fuck, do 
check it out. Ow. I'm just kidding. Yeah, look at that shit. Look at this cheating bullshit I can do now. Well done, Samus. You have unlocked the cheating bullshit. This is incredibly important to, uh, to the mission that you unlock this cheating bullshit. Now, when you take on Ravenbeak, hide behind several layers of concrete and then just shoot him. There's literally no reason not to just hide behind several levels of concrete and shoot him. Like you could be at the bottom of a nuclear bunker and just, just point your gun up. And it'll do, your, your bullets have unlimited range. I want you to know that. Every shot goes through the entire planet. Just so you're aware. No pressure. It goes, it goes, it leaves orbit too. You just shoot an energy into the galaxy. It defies the laws of physics. It's a, it's a, it's a point of fact. Although it is a fun idea that like, because like radiation, right? Radiation is just like atoms that can like essentially go through stuff, right? Yeah, it's just atoms that are like so small that they just pass through the structures of atoms, other atoms, right? So it's just like essentially collecting enough radiation and energy. To, like go through it but then there's a question of like are you ever truly dealing damage but like it's cool i like it oh 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 that guy's like real quick all right um there's also something up there let me see this first because it's right here oh oh shit Yeah. Just imagine you like a bat. Why do I have the psycho eyes? Why was that my first? What the? Can we talk about? Like, that's happened a few times where I see something, and my first instinct is my left hand is like, let's fucking go! And, like, what is that? Damn, she's standing there for a while. She must be going through some shit. She must be really contemplating existence right now. There's also a question with this, like, this wave beam, like, wouldn't this, wouldn't this gun be like? Uh, cheater! What's it? Fuck it! <laughs> Fuck it! Use the psycho claw. The robot's like, I don't know why you're staring at your hand, mate. But all right. Holy shit! This hand goo is pretty good. I should use this hand goo more often. Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. You think you are anything other than bitch made compared to the Emmy who I just killed? If this guy kills me, I'm embarrassed. You think you are anything but a bitch? Nope. Oh, I've that. Oh, oh, wow, he does a shit ton of damage. Okay, actually, no, I, might, I, I lied. You know, maybe my Metroid powers are not kicking into the better area. Go. My timing for the dash is a little bit off there. Do this 
Watch it all day. So I can't get over, like, I can't get over the shit, like, the psycho look in her eye, and she's like, oh yeah? Watch this shit, Emmy. Like, I, that is straight up Metroid shit that I just did right there. Bitch. Bitch. Fuck. Radiation pen power of particles. What? Sleep well, my child, who I just fucking annihilated. Holy shit. Power bomb! Fuck yeah! I just fucking destroyed those two people. God damn. A devastating powerful bomb with a large blast radius. So on morph ball, hold R to charge, then just set one fully charge. Standard power bomb consumes power bomb ammo. I love those super I love that like storm missile. I wish I had more opportunities to use it. Wait, is that my ship? That is my ship, right? I can't quite tell. It's kind of moving like it's two different ships. I think that's two different ships. Who the fuck? I hope it's Ridley. I hope Ridley's bitch ass comes over here. Oh, how much wrong that? Did it, did it. I hope Ridley's bitch ass comes over here and it's like, and now I will take the Metro. Where Mother Brain would have been. Uh. Max, power bombs can't be your answer to everything. Think of the civilian casualties. I'm sorry, the what? There are no civilians here. Have you seen this planet? This planet's fucking dead. Cool. Samus, I have concerns. Samus, I have a lot of concerns. Don't eat me with your hand powers, Samus. Data. Samus, don't. Samus. Samus, you have manifested a new power. Hot damn. The speed with which you siphon energy is undoubtedly Metroid in nature. It also gives you the psycho eyes. Should I be concerned about that? I don't think you have. The jail's like, not me, I want to see it. I want to see a handsome boy. The many battles you have fought on this mission. This tremendous power is the last thing you require to confront Raven B. How the fuck do you know that? I have detected a fortress in the sky high above Nubia. You must be there. That's, you don't know that either. The time has come, Samus. Fulfill your destiny. Once, I'd really like to emphasize how much you don't know that. Like, really, really, would really like to emphasize how much you don't know that. <laughs> You're just saying shit. Oh, wait, I need ammo. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so where will I get the ammo? How do you know that this is the power that I needed? Okay, I'm fully convinced. While knocked out, uh, Raven Beak. Totally, totally hacked at him. Uh, okay, I was gonna say, like, uh, Give me your bitch. <laughs> don't, don't, don't you run away from me, motherfucker. Get out. Get the fuck over here. Get the fuck. Oh, oh, give me, give me.
first off, damn to calling me out. I thought with how much I talk about D&D, having a chat there would be good. But I guess no one uses it, so first off, damn. Oh. I don't know. I don't know how to run it. I end every stream by saying I don't know how to run a Discord. Damn it. Making fun of me and shit. Dang it. Oh. Hey. Hey. Asshole. Don't jump on my shit. I could start. Well, I don't know what to post in there. Besides, like, DD related memes. Ooh. Shit. Man, you know the moment I grab you. Your shield is actually blocking damage, though. Oh, I forgot that. You fire. Now, okay, that one, that one, you got me. That one. Where's my fortress? <laughs> Where's my fortress monastery? Like, oh, you know, like the end game shit. Where's my cathedral titan or whatever it's called? You know, the one that it's literally a church that you just drive around. Nah, I fucked that up. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yep. What? <laughs> Hold on. Making fun of me for my... Die there. Making fun of me for that. How dare. Well, yeah. I, I thought it'd be useful. And people are... And apparently... Apparently not. But you know what? That's fine. Story of my life. Like holy shit, that 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 did nothing. Wow, my timing's bad. What well, god damn? What's with that like military arrest ass position you got going on right there? Claps hands work on this. God, you want me to run a D&D &D campaign? That would be a lot of work. And it would be a lot. I would need a lot of moving pieces and people willing to play along. And it would only be a one-off. Or, and that's like if I grab the audience, if I grab random people. I don't know who'd want to play that. Look at my handsome boy. Look at my handsome boy. He looks like he's from ke like Chemical Romance. Shit, my time is awful. Wow, my timing's awful. Max could say my boy looks from my chem looks like he's from My Chemical Romance. He's handsome. Fuck you. I give shit. He, he look. He looks good. It's just, I give. Sh oh. I give shit because like I'm sorry. If that guy was one of the vampires in Twilight, I'd believe it. <laughs> Or if you told me he was, and you're like, yeah, that's the point. He's hot. What's the problem? Oops. You're getting your, you're getting your shit rocked by a bird, Max. You can't say shit. Oh, it's way too late. What the fuck is that time? What the fuck is that timing? 
No. He's a sweet murderous boy. Uh, I would like that to be, uh, for the record, in court. He's a sweet murderous boy. But yes, uh, that is correct. Beat the ladies that he is not into. <laughs> so he's a sweet murderous boy. I can't get over that. But he's just a sweet boy. He's just a sweet murderous boy. What the fuck is the timing? That is driving me fucking nuts. I need to I need to nail that at least once so I will I will be forever annoyed. What the fuck? I kill you completely. That's that's the name of the bomb. What the fuck is the timing of that? Ah, oh, that's gonna drive me. That's gonna drive me fucking nuts. In which you can greatly damage the mob. Oh god, that's it. He reminds me of Trickster. He reminds me of Trickster from Dead by Daylight. That's why I was saying they're just like, why is he talking about this? And you're like, yeah, I don't see what the problem. is. Like, you, you say this, you say this, like, like, you say this like a bad thing. Okay. Nope. Let go. Let, let, let go. Okay, it's I don't know what his timing is, but I'm starting to think it's not real. I think, I think this is a lie. I think he's learned how to... Oh wait, what if I need to what oh what if I need to hit it as he's um as he does that little like thunk with his shield. What if what if that's it? Look, I, I have to I have to get in his face and parry him as he's charging it. Yeah, that's it. <gasps> that's it. That's what I was misunderstanding. I keep thinking I can dash again. It's not that I have two dashes. It's that I have one dash. It's that I have one dash, but I can do it twice in one go. If I'm fast. Okay, I now I understand. Nope. Bitch! Took away your shit! Took away your shit, motherfucker. Now you're just a normal ass dude. A normal ass dude that can eat missiles for all I care. Now, weirdly enough, you ain't shit! What, what perfect timing. <laughs> what perfect comedic timing. Uh, I mean, yeah, you most likely did at one point since you know the Dark Age is a hardcore murder hobo, oh, but he got him, you know. Basically, yeah. I've been doing a Dark Darker route for him. How does it sound for a ship's name? Invictum Erebus. I know what Erebus means. The Redemption Darker. I, I, I can see that. That makes sense then with like, oh yeah, because both him and Shadowheart being speed redemption. Aw, oh, sweet. Oh, what class is he? I, I forget the call.
Carabis. Why does that name sound familiar in the context of War Camp? Something else might be called Carabis. Maybe I don't God, that's two bars of hell. What? Oh, my goodness. These attacks are fucking strong. Actually, oh, Mercy of the Stars, considering you're making a bureaucratic bastard, though, they're like a name. That nah, Mercy of the Stars sounds pretty good. Honestly, that, that, that's a good name in general. I think. Yeah. The perfect polar opposite. Well, see, it's perfect polar opposite because it's like, no, really, I'm here to help you. I'm just, I'm diplomacy. I'm kindness. It's like, you're Uh. Yeah, I mean, both happy to meet you. Yeah. You'll never have, like, awkward moments of, um, asking about each other's child or anything because neither of you can remember it. Great. And yeah, like, the poetic justice of you making the both together. Yeah, that is very sweet. Nope. Come on. Yeah! Okay, I was gonna say, like, I have to not fuck this up, I have to not fuck this up! <laughs> when I did that. <gasps> Fly me to the moon and let us sail among the stars. That song just stuck my head for the past few weeks. So I always freak the lyrics. <laughs> my evil ass throne like yes. You know, if I spit, if I spin jump, I, or screw attack up there, I can get up there eventually. That's not fun. I went in his butthole. What an overly complex transportation system for one person. I can't believe I just got turned into a suppository. This not even stairs for the average working man. Oh, oh. Is that my helmet? Um, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> un, 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 no. This is a problem. This is a... Oh, no. The fuck is this thing? Well, here we go, boys. Fuck this place. <laughs> Broke your shit. Crash land on the planet. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't know if I'm a fan of the lightning bolts that go down my body. It looks kind of weird when it like turns dark. Dark, you know what I mean? Uploading data. Oh, my back looks like a Metroid! Here's your Metroid DNA has caused you to become a Metroid. I'm the best. Ordinarily, Metroid. this would have happened immediately after the DNA transplant. Oh my goodness. You can tell I, my first instinct was to make the worst possible joke. The worst possible joke of. Oh, damn, girl sucks, sucks the life out of you! 
Your Bohagines must have slowed down the process. Oh. They were the only tribe capable of controlling the Metroids. Oh my god, this is so terrible. Though you possess their it's DNA, you are not a Bohagine. She your sucked the soul out of you. Suggests that you must also possess Machin DNA. Okay. Metroids are programmed to oh. identify Machin as enemies. This suggests one thing to me. Why are they programmed to identify Machin as enemies? It is very probable that your metamorphosis occurred as a result of Raven Beat's attack. His presence awakened the Metroid's killer instinct. Why? Oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on. The Machins are the warrior tribe re ones, right? Is, is, I thought... Were they... <laughs> Tell me you weren't thinking it! Um... What, okay, so wasn't it the, the Machins were the ones that wanted to use the Metroids as weapons? As opposed, as opposed to the Toha, whatever they're called, who want to use the Metroids to stop the X parasites. Machins want to take it a step further, so why don't they reprogram them to do that? Since then, your metamorphosis has accelerated. Look, it I'm sorry no that I have to take control. the Samus, all right? And if she's a Metroid, that's a risk I'm gonna have to take. <laughs> Since then, your metamorphosis it can no longer be controlled. You are now a Metroid, Samus Aran. Your very existence poses a grave threat to the galaxy. You can tell the. Grand Galaxy, suck my nards. It's like, fuck, you want to fucking go? However, I'm the most dangerous no bitch in the universe twice over. Still contribute to galactic peace. You need only use your new powers correctly. I'm starting to think Adam isn't on my side here. <laughs> oh, yeah, bitch, I'll shoot you. You have followed my instructions faithfully so far. Continue to do so. Oh, I'm it's pissed. Simple. First I off, I'm right. Secondly, I'm pissed. Here on TBR, highly satisfactory, as I hope. It has even awakened your Metroid powers. I was right to let you live during our first encounter. That one glimpse you showed told me everything. Oh. So I can offer up your power. My plan is the only What the fuck? The galaxy. Fulfill your destiny, Samus. This is an order. Disobedience will not be tolerated. Um. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Oh, you disappoint me. Fucking beautiful. He's like, you know what? Fuck you! Um... Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness! Triple daddy issues! You're my dad?! How are you my dad? I was a human. Unless you're my, you're my Chozo dad. Okay, hold on. We gotta establish this first and foremost. So yeah, first off, I called it. Adam betrayed me because Adam was actually him. But like, does that mean Adam was always him? Like in fusion? Or did just like, I got knocked out and then he commandeered Adam, I think it's more likely. It was like, sorry, I just wanna point this out. I forget what game it was, I think it was fusion. Where they straight up said, Samus is the most dangerous thing in the known galaxy. The only thing that's like really saving us from her wrath is that A, she's a nice person and B, she hates Metroids. <laughs> like any problem you point her at, she destroys. And like, that's why when um, SAX happened, right? It was the scariest shit. Cause it's like, holy shit, a uh, X parasite took your goo and now it's as powerful as you are. So that's why the whole game is about avoiding them eventually killing the SAX. But um, that right there, it's like, you beat a Metroid, poisons a threat to the entire galaxy. Twi twice. Two to three times over now. <laughs> like, fuck, oh no, not again. <laughs> Do exactly as I say. Okay, shit. Okay, that's not working. Whoa! Alright, noted. Ow. Okay, there's no counter windows on the scene. Right. What are you going to do about that shit? Oh shit. Whoop. I I thought for sure it was gonna No. Yeah. I thought he was gonna do something else, so I was, I I didn't react. Back to the shit. Ah, I need to Okay, so I need to be in the air three times. Oh, I did that completely on accident! Oh, badass! Hot damn! Oh. <laughs> I just ate it. 
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's like we gonna yeah. Yeah, conversation. Can I counter that shit or not? Bitch. Oh, no. But yes, in But yes, in this context. Yes, in, in this context, it would yes, it would turn me into a certified monster fucker, but not in the same way. As, like if I don't look at this bitch, you tried to counter me, you motherfucker! <laughs> Think you're hot shit? Can't even fucking aim your arm cannon, bro! Asshole! <laughs> How could my daughter betray me like this? Oh it's my dad! It's my Metroid dad! Holy shit! <laughs> He's got no shield now. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ah, if I can counter that. Okay, I guess I can counter that. My dad! <laughs> This is Ravenbeak. Yeah, this is the guy who whooped her ass in the beginning of the game. He just grabbed us. So it was like, oh yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> so yeah, we're on the final fight. It's so good. <laughs> so can't believe he straight up was like, just yo, just do whatever I tell you to. Those okay, yeah, that, that does not work. I don't know if the color of his shield actually makes a difference. Like, what kind of attack are you using? I think I can counter any of those. I think what he does that move, I just need to leave. And I can itch my nose during this segment because all I'm doing is firing missiles. Like so. Alright. You know what? Alright, deal. Oh. Oh. Ah, damn, that was cool. So I'm guessing I could like counter his counter. I play my cards right. Damn, damn, I'm trying to get over. All right. He's got a little more reach than one of my than one of my flash charges does. Itch. Oh, I'm quick. Oh God, I love that. Just a concussive gut punch. He's like, oh yeah? Thanks, I needed to stretch. Can't have my shields off my wings, so here we go. Oh, I probably... Maybe I can count him. Nah, nah, it doesn't have the signature. I need to I need to get low. I need to get low when he does that. That is not what I meant when I said get low. Oh, I can't screw attack. Okay, good enough, good enough. Nope, I need to... Can't dash, I need to slide. Oh, God! Like that. Okay. Unfortunately, it's not providing me any ways to heal. That's not smart. 
Yep, I fucked up, I fucked up. I'm about to go out. I'm about to go out unless he does something to let me heal. I'm about to go out. Ding. Ah. <sighs> Alright. Crack my neck a little bit. I don't know if you guys can hear it when I do that. Also just the visual of him firing the gun to the side and then just laying into you is so cool. Leg muscles knocked me out of it. I bet. I was kind of hoping I had to do that counter string, but I guess not. That's why I was like, every time you started to move, I was like, eh. Laser that means do the big boy action. Nope, that's not my crowd. Yeah, the first round he was, co he was providing constant ways to deal, this time not so much. Shit, I broke his wing. He didn't even care. He's like, ah, that's a pisser. <laughs> ah, damn it. I've got to... Holy... Yeah! Motherfucker throwing the sun at me! So I had to sneeze through that fuck. Dude g lost a wing and said, well, now I'm uneven. And Sephiroth's a bitch. And just ripped. 
no consideration for like, you know, this is my limb. It's gonna hurt. I can grow a new one. No, I'm just fuck that. Rip it off. Oh. You got this, Pops. Fuck him up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Thanks, man. This I I love this fight. This is great. I will say I I really don't know if there's a point to me shooting him or if I literally am just waiting, but it makes me feel better and he changes color, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Ah! Oh. I thought he was gonna do another swing. The game's like, you fucked it up. Nope, nope, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Nope, nope. <laughs> it could be a little shit. Uh, yeah. There you go. Nice. No. Nope. Thank you, Tina. Bye. Bye. All right. Bitch. Bitch. Yeah, like, they, they heal you so much in this first round, and then the next round, they're just, like, giving you nothing. Badass. Ah, oh yeah, that's gonna hurt. But I heal anyway, so it's like, I don't care. Beautiful. Beautiful. God, every time I'm, I'm gonna let this cutscene play because it's so cool. Whoa. I don't don't let him catch you with those blasties. There you go. Right, do it fine. Do it fine. Do it fine. Fucked up a little bit, but that's okay. Don't hit him. Nope, wrong button. Okay. Wow, I just fucked up like three moves in a row. Oh, that's me. Um, I was crouching this time. Maybe I have to get, maybe when I actively slide, I'm lower. When I'm like crouching. Oh, fuck. Eat that shit. Keep rolling, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. I had to lay some eggs real quick. Ah! I'm sure you'd understand a lot of things about laying eggs. It's all right. It's all good. It's all good. Everyone does it. It's like, I'm a male bird. What? Roosters don't lay eggs? Samus, you come from a nation of bird people. You should know this. No one ever told me about the birds and the beer. <laughs> the birds and the breeze. <laughs> God, that, that pun works even, or it's not really a pun, but it works even better now. I can't get over that. Oh my. Shit. He doesn't bleed out or anything. He's just like, ah, this is what I'm doing. I don't think I can get rid of that shit, so... Oh, pff, I wasn't even looking. I was fired at the sun. Yeah, I don't think I can. Yeah, oh shit. I was gonna say, I don't think I can actually kill the sun. I think I just gotta have to... Oh, I could've countered that. I got a lot of help with that. Shit. 
Nope. Yep. All right. Yep. You. You get. You fire the sun off. Oh my goodness. Oh. Shit. I'm actually almost out of missiles. Oh, fuck. Ah. I keep thinking from like Dark Souls that like that dash it has iframes. It does not have iframes. So I kept like every time you did the dash, I was like, I'll dash through him. It's like, it does not work that way. Oh, I love this. Yeah. The boss fights in this game have been so good. Like, really, I, I really want to emphasize that, like, how they encourage you to, like, constantly use all of your tools. Granted, okay, there hasn't been one for, like, I don't know, a new or something, but, like, all your, like, combat, all your combat weapons, it is constantly encouraging you to use them all. I love that. The game's like, yeah, we're not going to do the cutscene unless you remember to keep shooting. I must not have done enough damage fast enough for it to let me do that bit. Okay. Yeah, now we'll let you... Okay, not quite enough for the side step yet. I actually fucked that up and they let they, I can't believe they actually let me get away with that shit because I hit it way too early. And they're like, we'll let it slide. It's okay. The the starting window hasn't gone yet. You know, you, you, you just flinch, that's all. See, it kind of fucks me up when they have you know, do that. Wow. Can't. It's okay, he can't aim for shit either. Ah, okay, I dodged that. Yeah, basically, just like as I. Oh. As I drop, I can. My goodness! It's like I got three for one combo, dude. <laughs> combo, bitch. Him not having the shield actually makes him doing the, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, the sunrise move. I need, I need to do something like that. That actually works out pretty well. 
over there. Oh shit, can I use the volume a little better than I thought would? Damn, yeah, dude, this is actually really good. Jump! Oh my! He auto and oh my goodness! Fuck! Thought I had that. Thought that was the run. It's okay. I'm not, I'm having a blast. I hope everyone else is having a blast. Watch this. This is this is a really cool fight. This is really cool. Yeah, I hope everyone else is enjoying watching this because I'm I'm having a blast. Yeah, that that I'm I'm declaring that the sunrise special. Max does in fact not have this. What are you talking about? We're, we're doing fine. Sure we're losing, but like we're having a blast. Sunrise, yeah. Switch, switch. Alright, there's nighttime. That's how you know like I'm really getting into the boss fight when I start getting big names. Nighttime. I get the impression that's because they want they're basically really encouraging you not to engage with them. Like them being able to be countered is more like for fun than you run into an actual life. Damn. It, it's more for fun season speedrunning than actual like practical use. Call me a nerd because I'm having fun with this shit. Bitch. Not to you, Ravenby. Yeah, say do the side. Yeah. Yeah, boy, yeah! If I get labeled as a monster fucker for taking this fight is hot, Samus, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's like, wait, you're a raging fucker? You're a, you're a raging fucker? No, 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 no. <laughs> 26,000 souls? Holy shit! Small boy, it's only 26,000 souls. Probably not even. Well, I guess that would be my family. We don't have family, it's a Warhammer. My character deserves bigger! Monster fucker! Look, I have a certain set of standards, and if you're gonna consider me a monster fucker, like, it's pretty tame. I'm not, like, you wanted to have sex with Ford while she was in Slayer form. I think there's a little bit of a difference. There's, like, at least a few things that change. Like, I feel like Raven would be curious, like, the in between. I have my certified monster pocket license. <laughs> Thank you, this is very important. I keep it in my wallet, yes, my key. <laughs> like, okay. I find that fuck you beat monster fuckers. Raven, yay or nay. Certified. <laughs> because I don't consider Samus to be a monster because she's well she's a human but she's just been genetically modified to so all heck of that. But she's still pretty much for all intents and purposes. She's still pretty much for all intents and purposes human. Wow. Oh shit, she's still going. Oh shit!
Let's see, does he do? Okay, no different combos. I'm waiting to see where I need to hit a button, and it does not look like it's coming. So fantastic! I was to come easy to keep firing missiles. Oh! Fuck yeah! The claw, bitch! Gimme! Oh! You countered me! You're gonna kill me. Do you truly kill me? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna reach you with my hand! My angry hand! I'm so fucking angry! I'm pissed! <laughs> you no longer serve any per- What?! Yeah, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! <laughs> fuck you and your long arms and just start firing missiles into his head! <laughs> it's like, fuck you! I'm so pissed! You got my DNA, you bitch. I was your test run. I was your test run to make sure it worked the way you thought it would. I love like this visual of like the helmet but being able to still see his face. Turn back on. Oh no. Oh it's fucking on now, bitch! <laughs> oh she's screaming! Give me your juice! <laughs> I'm fucking taking your steez, bitch! <laughs> I'm officially Doom Guy. Oh my goodness, I'm Doom Guy. I have turned into Doom Guy. Oh, give me your, give me your steez. Give me your fucking steez. Oh my goodness. You know the scenes, the, the scenes of like Doom and like Doom Eternal, where you see his eyes and they're just bug-eyed with rage. I did the literal exact same thing. Holy shit. I'm. It's a my pro monster fucking membership pass to the two tools. <laughs> the rental department is massive, gargantuan. Oh, y'all talk talking about being monster fuckers. Meanwhile, I'm just like, this is hot. <laughs> What's going on with Samus right now? Hot damn. Oh my goodness. I look like a Zerg. Holy shit. What the fuck is this gross armor? <sighs> That was fast. That was just some random X parasite. That guy's minding his own business. Oh my goodness, he's got a little hit. He's a no boy. Holy. Uh. Yeah, it's that kind of was more of a fight instead of just a cutscene, but still, it looks fucking badass. Hot damn. I can just do this shit whenever I want now. I'm kind of, kind of hoping that'd be more of a fight. Shoot it. Eat it. <laughs> Holy shit. Hot damn. Every iteration of my armor gives me bigger birthing hips. Are you noticing that? Oh god! Oh god! Oh, I was I, I ran the wrong way. Like, can we just talk about that for a second? Literally every one of my suits is giving me bigger and bigger birthday hips and hot damn. This is kinda doing it for me. <laughs> um how do I escape? Holy shit! Okay, okay. I was gonna say like how 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 the fuck how the fuck do I escape? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Max, you do it, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> oh my I'm not even gonna shoot you. No, oh, wait, hold on. There you go. Oh, I'm so I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. You guys started to turn into no, no. Oh wait, I gotta be in the form now. <laughs> Oh my goodness. 
I don't even know. Oh, stop. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going. Oh my goodness, I don't even know. Okay, can I read my scans? Oh, hold on. Samus unleashes her latent power, causing all our cans to combine to a devastating being capable to destroy anything. Press and hold Y to continuously shoot. <laughs> What's up? I'm sorry, I'm having fun with this. Alright, the Metroid DNA inside Samus is searched for control and transfer to an organism that is essentially a Metroid, but hot. Alright. No weird, gross ass jellyfish going on here, motherfuckers. Where am I going? I have no idea. Is this where. Nope, that's not where I'm going. Ah! <laughs> like, is this. I am actually going through parts of the map correctly, right? Like. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my goodness, it's so good! Oh, just. Brrr. Burr. Burr. <laughs> oh, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me. Oh my goodness. This is too good. Oh, I fucked up the timing just a little bit there, my bad. A oh, bird! <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Burr. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 I gotta get my ship. Hold on, I gotta turn my ship into a Metroid. <laughs> what? Don't. What? Turn off the suit. You'll destroy the ship. You'll destroy the ship. Don't do it. Screw attacking out of the ship was a uh, screw attacking into space was a joke. <gasps> that parasite. It wait, what? Oh, wait, fuck! Oh, fuck, wait! <laughs> Shit, I told you to get that fuck out of here! Hold on. Oh my goodness! I don't know how what I did set off the destruction of the planet, but good. This X parasite destroyed it. Or, or already ruined it, so fuck it. Can't have a Metroid game unless I blow up a planet. But like, oh. Ah, oh, okay, so. So the Metroid was like, go. Oh. Oh, okay, so the Metroid was going absolutely batshit and it was like taking me over, right? I was like giving more and more into my rage. And, um. Yeah, because, okay, so remember Metroid Fusion? There were a few instances, SAX was one of them, where like whatever the form it turned into, because it takes in the memories and everything of the host, it also takes on their mannerisms, which is why. So, okay, so the reason SAX kept wanting to kill you. Fuck yeah, Mass Genocide. <laughs> the reason SAX wanted to kill you was A, because it wants to consume all life, but it specifically didn't like you because in Fusion, you had Metroid DNA. And as Samus, you have a prerogative in your head, all Metroids must die. Like, they just have to die. And that's why SAX wanted to kill you. But when the Metroids started to, like, come back to life, essentially, SAX was, like, destroying everything, trying to kill the Metroids, including the final fight. So in this case... An ex parasite took over the corpse of Quiet Robe, or whatever his name was, and essentially the love and care I don't know what the parental figure of Quiet Robe was created to me, but like his brain kind of overruled the ex parasite's desire to feed and spread. So I'm guessing then with the DNA of, I think they said it was the Moto or whatever it was, or no, it was the Makins or the Bad Ones, the Toho, whatever they're called, that have the ability to actually control the Metroids. Giving me that DNA, let me calm down essentially, so that the Metro DNA just like wouldn't go fucking ballistic and like try to kill everyone. That oh, oh my goodness. Oh, this was such a good game. Okay, right now my hands are on the back of my head. I'm doing the anime lean back. Oh my goodness, that was such a good game. I absolutely loved that. This might be my favorite Metroid. 
it honestly might be my favorite Metroid. Like, okay, I love Samus Returns, especially playing it again. It makes me realize, like, just how well designed that game is. But, like, this was just lovely. This was just great. All the abilities felt good. I love the idea of the Emmys. Sure, there were some frustrating moments. There were some moments where I was like, I don't think this ability works this way, and it did, or, like, I didn't realize something. Kind of like I said before, that, like, it's kind of annoying to have to go back to previous areas, but the game, I think, does a pretty decent job of, like, if by your natural path we put you by an elevator, we want you to take the elevator. Kind of a deal. Which was, like, a lot of fun. Ah, this, this is just a good... This, this game is amazing. I absolutely loved it. And it's weird now to look at it and be like, we are done with the Metroid franchise series. The series that I started once with Metroid Prime, quit because the game made me mad, and came back two years later. And I, God, I fucking love this series. It was so good. Now, if you want to make fun of me for being like, that's because you, you have the horny for Samus. Don't call me out like that. But like, Samus as a character was so much fun. The gameplay was so much fun. How it's like, it, how the game series tells a story without the need of like too much dialogue and like all the subtle tones of it. The level design. I don't know if I'll ever actually do the speedrunning element of it because I know it's like depending on the speedrunning, it's based on um, it's based on like the number of items you get or the speed you get or if you get 100 percent like how fast you get 100 percent. I'm not fully about that to be honest, but like because like it, okay, it's one thing in Resident Evil where the um, I kind of wish Samus Samus showed up right there instead of Urza. Ah, hold on. Is Samus even there? Oh, but she is. Damn. <laughs> Cut me out like that. I never denied it. I never did. It was like, or it's like, okay, Max, favorite video game waifu, go. You only choose one. It's like, well, it's gonna be between Tifa and Samus, and Samus is kind of winning. Like, oh, that was so fucking good. I just, I love this game. I love this franchise series. It's giving me such a bigger appreciation for like 2D platformers in general. I love how all the enemies and bosses really encourage you to like use your equipment and everything and use all your different abilities in conjunction with each other. They're gonna tell me I got a shitty score, but you know what? I don't care. I'm a uh, just look at him. Look at him. Amazing. Yeah, 100%. They're like, how much you all bet six hours or five hours was the deadline? That they're like, take off the helmet. How much percentage? Missiles, power bombs, times defeated, total damage received. There was 30 bosses? Well, unless I count, I guess, each Emmy, each uh, Chozo. Probably a few enemies that they consider bosses I didn't even realize. Yeah, Zero Mission. Oh, wait, so does that mean they have like art from for each Metroid game? Zero Mission was so good. Like it, I honestly mean this. Zero Mission is the perfect first Metroid game to play. Cause like it teaches you how to play and everything, but it does such a good job of guiding you as well. Like, ah, it's so good. Yeah, Samus returns! I'm surprised. Oh, actually, no, because that would be fusion. God, yeah, that fight with the queen. At least, I no, I think that's just one of the bigger ones. It's not the queen, but still. So that must just be how much artwork I learned. Hard mode. <gasps> There's a boss rush! Oh, my goodness. I love this game. You would go with Morgana? See, what I, okay, I, I think I'm only like. I'm, see, I've never actually. Ooh, I don't want to play it there. Um, like Morgana from Dragon Age. She's not wearing a shirt. One breeze and that shit's off. But you know what? Fair enough. I respect it. I get it. I feel like Lulu's an upgrade, but I respect it. Oh my goodness. This. And that is based off what games I have. That's yeah, true, true. Fair enough. Oh my goodness. This has just been an absolutely phenomenal series. I've really enjoyed playing this and thank you all so much for watching. Like this has been an absolute blast. Oh God. 
Shy or Pedo, hey! Hi! You just caught me at the end. Oh, God. Oh, bye. Oh, okay, goodbye. Actually, people have been here for Panda Screen Works Out. Hello, hello, everyone. We just finished Metroid Dread, and as a result, all of the Metroid franchise series. Ah, uh, this game was fucking amazing. I absolutely loved everything about it. I, I'm trying to think of, like, I wish there was X or I wish there was Y, and I, nothing's coming to mind. This game's just good. It's so unbelievably good. That being said, oh, oops. That being said, um, I was gonna stream for about another hour. There's some dumb that's weird that you de declare that, but all right, fair enough. Um, but hello, hello, everyone. All right, now that being said, um, I was gonna stream for about another hour or so. So, let's all take a group vote right now. Uh, I'm not gonna make a poll or anything, let's just do this unofficially. Would you guys like to A, I'll show you the mo I'll show you like, uh, what is it? I'm trying to think of like games I've been playing recently that you guys might enjoy. Should we play Dave the Diver? Yeah, let's set that as a vote. Do we want to play like Dead by Daylight or something like that? Or should we play like Dave the Diver? Which will be an absolute tonal shift for about an hour. Actually, fuck it. No, I'm making the vote. We're doing that. Fuck it. Democracy's fucking dead. All right, so give me a quick second. I'm going to go on break. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to like rearrange the tech setup so that way we can set up and play the game. So this will take a very small amount. Of oh, I also need to go grab my controller. Um, okay, that's another option. We could do Lethal Company, but then we need to pull people in from chat. I don't know who all wants to do that. We could do Lethal Company if we got three people right now in the chat. Become the great assets. Alright, um, either way, I'm gonna take like a quick two minute break just to go pee, and uh, I shouldn't be so crass about it, I apologize, and rearrange the setup. Great, great asset. Oh, uh, so hey, what about joining a guild in Elder Scrolls Online? Um, I would be tempted, but I don't, I don't know no Elder Scrolls Online, and I've never played it, so I'm not very much helping that. Yeah, let me take a quick two-minute break, very quick, and we'll be right back with Dave the Diver. Which, yeah, Dave the Diver is gonna be the equivalent of a cigarette after sex. So be right back. <gasps>
Huh. And I am that wait, hold on. Hold on a second. New content in gallery. Did I actually tell you what the endings are for? Nope. Mission log. Oh yeah, because they actually did show me each one. This game is so fucking good. I, I mean that. I love it. This, this, this game has been an absolute delight. But, you know, I, look, I don't endorse smoking, but sometimes you need a little bit of a wind down. So, 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 would first and foremost like to say thank you all so much for watching, everyone from Panda Stream. I hope you all are going to have, I wish you all a Merry Christmas, as this is going to be also my last stream. And uh, I just want to do something fun and chill for about the next hour, hour and a half or so. So I want to show you guys, if I could, there we go. I want to show you guys a game that I just recently started to play. There we go. Uh, let's change the title. We're going we're gonna to call this, hold on. We're, I'm going to call this a cigarette after... Global Annihilation. <laughs> I can't spell the word Annihilation, though. So, let's just do this. So, this game... This game... I want to make sure I spelled it correctly. I did. I am good at spelling. Alright, so this game is one that I discovered on Steam. Well, okay, a lot of people have heard of it, but you, you know. And basically what I was told about it, just, just for your guys' knowledge was that it is an incredibly chill experience that masterfully combines multiple gameplay styles all in one. Because I'm sure we've all played this, like, especially in the era of like the PS2 and the Wii. Different game series that, for whatever reason, try to do 50 different things at once, right? And in doing 50 things at, different things at once, it kind of loses uh, focus. It loses the ability to be any one thing to a certain amount of strength, right? This game, I would say, is an example of one that combines everything very well. And I've only gotten in-game about a week in. But I would like for the last hour and a half, before we all go off to vaca or for vacation, to just kind of share it with you because it makes me very happy. And I need a cigarette because holy shit, we blew up a planet. We fucking fire hose and shit. I sucked the soul out of my dad. Spook decided that I'm a certified monster fucker because I have the horny for Samus. Hot damn. Every upgrade gave me bigger birthing hips. It was amazing. Oh, that, oh, sorry. It's such a good game. It makes me so happy. Hopefully I did just break the game, though, because I don't know how long I'll take to load. But yeah, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. Merry Christmas, bitches. <laughs> oh. Good. I think this game's on sale, too, so, like, full recommendation. I barely even got into it, and full recommendation. It, like, the moment I started playing, it made me happy. And, um... I had Megan play, and she enjoyed it for a little bit, but she wasn't feeling very well, so she only got a few days in, and we accidentally overwrote my save file, so I don't mind starting right from the beginning. And I'll let the intro play, because <sighs> like I said, I need a cigarette. I need a vacation. Like, okay, I'm going to jinx reality. In South Dakota, it is not snowy. It is foggy as fuck outside, so you know what? Go to some Hawaii. Somewhere we can just get a hermit crab crawl the crotch. I love the pixel art. It's so good. It's so simplistic, but it just looks so good. Yeah, it is straight up. It's Silent Hill outside. Like, it was foggy last night. It was foggy this morning. And it's like turning into an oppressive ass fog. Also, if I need to raise the game volume or anything, say the word. I will do so. No. Quick, someone rig my VTuber model so every now that I can just play ukulele. 
If I had rip beer right now, I'd I'd raise that shit, but I don't. I only got Mountain Dew. So. In hindsight, I should have um, from a few get-togethers, uh, we I have somehow obtained a giant jug of Hawaiian Punch and vodka. Turns out it works pretty good. <laughs> Aw. Like, okay, Megan hates snow, especially like obnoxious amounts of snow because she's very, even more than I am, she's used to being out in the countryside where you can be snowed in for days or weeks kind of a thing. And, um, like, and especially with her being in Thailand, like, she, she is not a big fan of snow. I love snow. I fucking love winter. I remember when I, I think I told a story before, but for those who don't know, I thought that was in real life. I didn't think that was in the intercom. <laughs> when I was in Japan, right? I was in Yokosuka, so our south of Tokyo. Temperate. It snowed only a few times, and it was just a picturesque sprinkling, and I almost cried. Like, I was so... I missed snow so much. Like, I loved going north to Sapporo. Uh, I don't know what voice I should give him. I, I, I think this guy looks like he's from Elgar Solid, so... Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. Ooh. Nah, I'm not gonna read it. So, Tol Hurry here. I was on vacation, you know? Where's the sushi at? Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Okay. Yeah, I, I love snow, and I'm sad. It's it's looking like it's gonna be a brown Christmas. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, this is not a euphemism. The terrain and ecology changes, which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. Yeah. Like, what kind of bit? We can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go in. <laughs> I don't have a good feeling about this. So, yeah, the first kind of game this is, it's a roguelike. Every time you go down, the fish you see in the environment changes. So, that's game type number one. It's a roguelike. It doesn't look like it, but it is. Man, it's been a green Christmas for the past. I don't know how many years that I'm the upsetty spaghetti. You call them green Christmases? We call them brown Christmases. Because <laughs> usually it's muddy. Oh. Okay, so check this out. We have oxygen consumption, right? That is our health and our time limit. I'm sure you guys have played... Um, There's this game that was on Dig Your Own Grave or Armor Games. That it was basically you were in... You were... Oh, I can't pause this, right? Basically, you're in a... Got a knife. Got a knife. I'll fucking stab. I'll fucking stab you. But, um... It's basically a game where, like, you're a driller digging into the earth. Suck it, Dory. I gotta get at least one of every fish, because later on... Later on, they're like, hey, can you help me collect one of every fish? But, um... What was I saying? Uh, basically, the game is about drilling into the earth to find oil kind of a thing. But you only have a certain number of oxygen and, like, weight. And if you, like, can't escape back out of it, you'll die. This game works the same way. It's a, it's a timed, like, treasure environment... Or time resource management treasure hunt, whatever you want to call that kind of game. So that's game type number two. But Dave, you love sushi, right? Mm -hmm. For sure, that's soft fish meat with oily ro- I miss fucking Simon's talking sushi. Aha, well listen up. I have a friend who's a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It is right here that I start a restaurant with my friend that sells one of a kind sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people just go nuts for it? Like, I'm all, I want, give it to me. I bet, so why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? You don't have a family or a, you know, a wife. Oh, I'm just saying. Like, you don't have a family or a wife or anything to get back to, right? Like, come on. Good, I just want to make sure that it actually... Sorry, I want to make sure it's actually working. It reminds me of Subnautica, I'm most upset. Yeah! A lot more chill than Subnautica, but yeah. 
I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Nothing to worry about. The re I don't know what place I'm on. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Decline. No. So I can eat as much sushi as I want? Yeah, sure. You have to you have to pay though. And... Can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the blue hole. It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. The pixel art is so fucking good. Also, what I love that this game does is this is a PlayStation 1 kind of trick. But I'm sure you guys have seen like different horror games that like Markiplier or whoever has played. The style of having a 3D object with overly pixelated 2D graphics positioned in such a way so that wherever it moves, it still looks like a 2D object. This game does that. It's so good. It's so well done. Hey, Boncho, are we all ready to... What is this voice that I'm doing? So, it's... Hey, Boncho, are we all ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. Oh, sorry if... You, you are the fisherman Cobra was talking about. I'm more of a diver. Also, Mega told me this is vastly illegal, what we're doing in the real world. Fuck it. All right, anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Boncho. You like sushi? Uh, I haven't tried sea urchin. Just as mediocre as expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. It symbolizes mother nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish, just like you, you basic bitch fucking weed. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. Oh shit. The cat! No! Nope. I want it. Uh, what's that giant heater thing that's like usually above kitchens that's like designed to get like the smoke and stuff out? That thing that's like bent over, it's like right. My ear is pointing to it because my hands don't work. Um, he stood under that thing. That's a awful idea. <laughs> An earthquake. The interior is really quite a mess. Yeah, it looks like we have to delay the opening. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I have to recover the repair costs through doing business. In this state? In the end, of, in the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? I mean, I, I got this gold, but... The fuck? It's just a goldfish? Get the fuck out there and get more food, you piece of shit. It's in the evening. We gotta hurry the fuck up. So it's not just me, then. That's funny. It's a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword in a wet stone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Ah, fair enough. Oh, uh, shit. So yeah, we have to fuel the restaurant. Oh. Since the inc the incident. The incident. Maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. They actually bring it up fairly quickly. But Yeah, so we basically get two dives a day in this. Yeah, well, I mean very honorable, more knowledgeable than he seems. Big large black guy. Yeah. yeah. Not to mention that that guy was, like, the best character in that show, so... <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, we, you can see we can focus on these little guys and fill up, but... The better quality fish oops, are deeper down. We have a weight limit. We have oxygen, which is also our health. Uh, they'll tell you about later, but if you die... You essentially can only keep one thing that you found. And you might be wondering to yourself, Max, you said this game was a roguelike before. Hold on. These fish are... Oh, those fish are good eating. Damn it. There you go. And here's the warrior wear. Every weapon, every harpoon type has a different mini game associated with it. Bitch. There you go. Alright, you can see I'm starting to reach my depth limit. Which is about where you want to be. And if you are carrying too much or if you're at too much of your depth, your oxygen drains faster. You can see I'm at about half. But it's a roguelike because you can find random items like this. 
Shock bang stick. Oh, I thought I could get that guy. That has replaced my knife. And then at the end of each dive, they take away your items. So it's randomized each time. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like we have, we can't go down very far. There you go. Yep, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna start focusing on going up. Unless like one of those guys miraculously gets close to me and I can like nail him. Bitch. <laughs> All right, up we go, up we go. Because, I don't know about you guys, but in these kinds of games, my greed always, and I mean that, oh, my greed always gets me killed. I always sit there and I'm just like, I, 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 I get, oh. Yeah! I get one more fish. I got four, I got 14 air. It's fine, it's fine. All right, looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll make, uh, we'll make both loads of money in no time. Uh, oh, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? Shows you all that. Okay, so remember, we have three game types total, right? We have three game types total. We have roguelikes. We have... It. I. What's a good word for it? We're like... Where um, you essentially have to like collect things within a certain amount of time, and then like over time you go deeper and deeper. In. Oh, oh. oh. Megan's home! Yay! All right, in that case, we'll only stream for about another forty minutes or so. I, I think we're mostly set. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Did you hear from Cobra? <laughs> you're to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. <laughs> It's like, uh, uh, the f I already did my job. Cobra told me that there would be someone to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I need to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? Never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. So, so game type number four, this is a restaurant simulator as well. And depending on what you're trying to do in the restaurant, you have to do more mini games. Like, I love this shit. And because of that, it's also a business manager. All right, uh, they're not gonna let me enhance everything yet, so. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just put out whatever it has the most. They're not gonna let me enhance things yet, so we'll just do whatever is the biggest i get very i'm very excited about this game because i think it's i think it's very brilliant in a lot of ways like th this game is very well put together oh i got poor green tea all right r to pour green tea just the right amount hold on Nail. Funky music, exactly. Like the aesthetics of this game are just on point. Oh, yeah, you can. And so, thankfully, my least my least favorite part of like every restaurant management game is having to take orders. I don't like having to take orders. I just like uh, I like this function where it's like <laughs> I like this function where like he takes the orders. It's just on you to bring it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I really like that. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. Oh. Thank you, dearie. Oh, what, what's up? Oh, you threw a dog toy in my head. <laughs> Love you. She threw a dog toy in my head. But, um, yeah, I, I hate taking orders in the games. I love just, like, being the one that, like, focuses only on cooking or focuses only on, like, bringing things to people. That, that's, I like having that as a role. So this is that kind of version of it. He takes care of the cooking for you. 
It seems like such a waste to throw it away. Bunch of sushi never uses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Which honestly, yeah, it's for the best, really. Although, you know, the, the restaurant worker that it used to be in me is like, oh shit. Am I allowed to just put it in a box for me then? Like, I'll keep this shit. <laughs> I'll eat it later. That's probably in poor taste to do that, though. Everything looks about ready. I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kind of nervous. I'm sorry, what, Pancho? <laughs> Don't forget to press Y after filling the menu for business speakers. And here we go. Now we just chill. And I drink my soda. <laughs> Everyone like my neck snapping for a second there? God, a lot of people. I don't even know how many people are here at this fucking island. Oh, there you go. go, 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 go. And I love, God, I love that chunky dish. 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 It just sounds so good. Now, you may notice on the side behind my head. There's also a meter for wasabi, which if I call correctly is essentially horseradish. Um, that has a spicy and very specific flavor to it. Nope. Nope. Fuck. Now I won't get a tip. He has to have wasabi in order to cook. So you also have to keep track of this shit. Have I said I love this game? I fucking love this game. Like, it's so, it is so smart and so clever in so many ways. Maybe I got some rose, or you know, rose tinted glasses going on, but like, hot damn. And ding. doesn't love a good Excel spreadsheet, am I right? Phew, work's finally done for the day. My back and legs, specifically, not my arm, hurt. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. I suppose coming for you, that's a compliment. A man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Yeah, okay, fine. In any case, toast the opening of Bancho Sushi. Let me tell you more about the philosophy. It's like, ah, fuck. <laughs> the chillness is def- oh, yeah. Like, definitely that, like, you get into that cycle of, like, you take care of the farm, and then you go quest, and you go talk to people. The people show up more later. I only got an intro to some of them. Like I said, I have not gotten far in this game. It's why it's like, Max, you, you're lying when you say this is the first or blind playthrough. I have played this game so little. It might as well be. I've got it very recently. And already I'm just like, fucking aces. This, this is amazing. <laughs> oh. Ellie! Say, do I do the stereotypical girl? It's like, are you the man who's been diving around here? <laughs> I, I, I mean, probably. I, I, I was expecting a more professional-looking guy that I can see on my phone through Skype. Your camera's on. You weren't aware of it, but your camera's on right now. I can see. Uh, oh, wrong button. I can hear you. Oh, I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Should you tell me who you are first? And I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. The one that's right over there in this tropical ass deserted island. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Bitch! Uh, uh, okay, so what do you, what do you want? I like to study the ecology of the blue hole. Give me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Give me two. Bitch. <laughs> Your tone makes me want to refuse. I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. I know you are poor bitch. Well, I was refusing. I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. Yeah. 
You got the cell phone. It's cute. I love the idea. Like, multiple games do this, but I love the idea of uh, your main menu is a cell phone that, like, you see your character pull out. It's, it's just cute. It's fun. It's like how in uh, Dead Space, how, you know, when you open your inventory, you, like, pull out, like, your actual comms. Or, your, like, your little whatever you want to call it screen. So, yeah, now... We begin with the main. Oh shit! Yeah. With the main quest, we have to find things for people while also making sure to get enough resources for the restaurant. And we only get two dives a day, succeed or fail. So part of the reason it's like Max, why are you stabbing Dory so much? We need a backlog. We are, you know, we need, we need, we need stock. And I got myself a fucking katana. Let's fucking go. Another aspect of this game that's like really cool is that um. Oops. Yeah. Oh. Is that um if you knife the fish? Like as you can see, the fish obviously aren't really sticking by me and my bad aim very much. But if you can get them with a knife, you get more resources. So depending on how aggressive the fish is, i.e. this guy right here, who is worth a killing. The more dangerous fish are worth more. I think the most dangerous one I fought so far was a shark. But yeah, like, the knife gives more meat than the harpoon, which gives more meat than eventually, shit, you get a gun. The gun's pretty nice. That's why I had to use on the shark. So there's, like, a risk-reward element there, too. Oh. I'm way overfilled. I didn't, I didn't fucking get the, uh, supplies, but that's fine. Like, I don't think we have to do her quest immediately. It's more just about, like... If I can nail one of those little guys just for sake of collection. You want to eat assholes? Turn around. Turn around, you bitch. What? Oh. Mm. Gah. No. Yeah, just one of you. Just one of you. Just one of you. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Max, what are you doing? Nothing. Max, what are you doing? Nothing. We need that. And out we go. That's the game. That's it. I, I I love it. I know it's like Max, you fanboy over everything. It's because you're, it's because you're going fucking like your adrenaline is still mm. insanely high from Metroid. You're right, and a lot of caffeine. But like, ooh. perhaps. But I I really love this game, and I think it's a good way to end the stream and to end the year. Uh, perhaps something puts them on edge. Oh. Speaking of which, why don't you also... I love it. I'll take a gun in addition to the harpoon. It's like, a gun? I have a friend who's a knowledge about guns. I'll introduce you to him. There you go. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'll lean over so you can see how he looks like. It's so good. Alright. Uh, what, what voice? Wow, Cobra. Uh, mm, sure. It's been a while. Who's a goofy guy looking uh, looking guy next to you? Like, sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting, I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. Oh. What's up, dude? Uh, I do not know. I think this is a question. I am unsure. Right. Love you. Oh. <laughs> People who live in glass houses. Mm -hmm. So what's this about? I'd like, I'd like you to get straight to the point. Hello. I've begun a very interesting business, Hello. and now I'm in need of some weapons. You know, you're on 4chan. <laughs> you're on Reddit. You know how to just make a fucking gun. Season 2 of Strastrella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. Alright, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. It's called the Ocean. The terrain and ecology inside changes every time you go inside. It defies the laws of physics. 
Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Yeah. Hmm, that is rather interesting. You piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. Yeah. Here's a katana. <laughs> my hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. Yes, yeah. we... We, we, we said that. So we'll have to get the materials from the sea okay. ourselves. Heh, <laughs> Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this master duck. <laughs> Not sure why I just have to prove myself to fuck you. So it appears you have no guns at all. Let's start with something easy. I think I'll need one rope and scrap iron. You know, the components for a live firearm that can be used underwater in a diving way. You heard him, right, Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and a scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll need to do. So I think we should, we probably have enough fish to survive the day. Sorry, excuse me. We probably have enough fish to survive the day. So we can kind of focus a little more on uh, trying to find the pieces or going for ones that are either unique. There's one. Or, okay. Oh, oh. Is this wood? Oh, and copper. I haven't actually found a use for copper yet, but it strikes me. You know, you know when you're playing like, yeah, like some kind of crafting survival game, and like I have no idea what this is used for, but I know it will be used <laughs> at some point in time. I'm gonna be sitting there going like, ah, oh, God, I would stab my own mother for more copper. Like, I'm just gonna be desperate for whatever reason. Like, we, we, it's gonna happen, we don't know, but, oh my goodness, I gotta, eat. oh, fuck yeah, so over there, see that oxygen tank, so, since the oxygen is our health, since the oxygen is our health, and also our time limit, oh, shit, <laughs> oh, shit, um, I can risk it. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Uh, I can't. I can't go deeper. Even though I see those delicious sea lions. Oh. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I. Oh. Shit. I don't know why there's soy sauce in the bottom of the ocean, but there is. All right, we're gonna do something a little risky. All right. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it, actually. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I was thinking if we can get to that air tank. Oh, we can make it, we can make it. We can make it, no problem. There we go. Fucking shrimp. Watch that eel. There we go. See? Now we can kind of... I mean, we're already pretty, like, full up, but... Might be able to find something cool or just... Maybe just catch some more little guys. Just to get something, you know. Those, like... And then, bah, I say these blue ones are pretty good. Because, you know, obviously the general logic is the deeper you go, the bigger they get. A little more exotic they get. Granted. Also, the more violent they get. Nope. Ah, I see that sea lion. <gasps> Perfect. Oh. Damn it. Let's <laughs> hope that would kill it. No, 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 no. Fuck off, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off, bitch. <laughs> this is a question mark. He's like, what the fuck? Guy just hit me with a taser underwater. Oh. Mm, come on, come on. Boop. Fuck. 
All right, now it's sleep. Now it's sleep. We're well overweight. We got everything we needed from our quests. We got a good amount of fancy fish. Might just grab this just for fancies. Of course, there's another thing of oxygen right there. And iron. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Okay, now I physically cannot carry anymore. So I'll just, I'll just leave. And head out. God, whenever like, whenever I play these kinds of games and I have to like head out early, even though I have resources to continue, I'm always just like, fuck. <laughs> it feels like a waste, but it's like I physically cannot carry anymore. And I don't want to just discard it, but fuck. Well, to think you'd actually manage to bring it back, I expect you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. Like, fucking bitch. Okay. Seems I've underestimated you slightly. Very well. Yeah. I'll make you okay. a fucking gun. Just, just, you know, just download the app. Download the app. Use your gun. Congratulations, you have a gun now. <laughs> this is the other reason I love this game. That there's a different cutscenes like this that are just so good. I don't know if you guys know this, but this is how guns are made in real life. Yep, ever since the Revolutionary War and before then, that's the technology used. Yep, that's how guns are made. Through an app. Yep. Nice. Okay. Heh, <laughs> with a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. Yeah. Oh, and one more okay. thing. I've taken some measures to allow you to open weapon chests underwater. How? Don't worry about it. <laughs> you can't bring them out of the sea, but they could still come in handy, you could say. Yeah. Okay. Basically, if you can collect yeah. the same weapon. What the fuck? <laughs> in any case, the master will be watching you. Goodbye, th good, goodbye, eternity. Goodbye, ter goodbye, eternity. Goodbye, tyranny. <laughs> fucking weebs. But yeah, if you collect enough blueprints of a weapon, you can have them build it, so you start with it. You actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little of you. All right, this should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised to help me do my research. The sun ecological changes this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. And my number! I'll send you olive oil! It's not virgin, and I refuse to explain why. Dave, you collected a hundred gold. We're fucking rich. Great job. This should be enough to repair. It's broken. Give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. Man, I'm getting all sorts of shit done. Hey, yo. Oh. Oh. I'm wrapping up my day and heading home to Fanchin. Fucking tell me. Motherfucker, I'm putting in the work for this, alright? Like. Also, I love that this game, like. Oh, hold on. I love that this game lets you actually, like, look at the fish. So, for example, like the art style. The colorful mosaic patterns formed by its scales has earned it the nickname Picasso Fish. Has a pointed snout and three to five large scales behind its, its gills. I love it when games, like. I'm not gonna pretend for a second these are, like, the most in depth whatever kind of um like descriptions and stuff it's not like they're really telling you the history of it at all but it's still nice to just be like you know like oh look oval shaped with a relatively long and thin body like it's it's cool it's fun you know all right um menu okay so now oh perfect let's enhance this one Wait, what? <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest with you. If I went to a sushi restaurant and I saw this guy, like, like, if I saw this guy that he was like the sushi master, whatever you want to call him, the chef, I would trust him with my fucking life. He could serve me anything and I would eat it with no questions asked whatsoever. 
Just like, oh, I, yeah, I made this from a dog behind the back alley. I'll be like, I'll take three. Yep, perfect. Love it. Yes, 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 please. Yep. Alright, let's not make too many. Because something that I really like also about this game is that, like, the way to enhance things is to use the resources you need to get it. So, like, you could enhance some. I could enhance this two times, right? But then I won't have any to sell to people. So, like, there's, like, an odd balance to it that I think is really fun. But uh, I feel like so far it's been, like, 10 or so dishes is, like, an average. But I imagine it'll get better. Or, well, worse. I would trust them, too, and I ate a fan of sushi. Oh, the sushi's so good. Like, I fucking love sushi. I know it's, like, well, it's American sushi, so it's not as good. Burr. I don't care. I love sushi. That being said, okay, so I'm a hypocrite in a little bit of ways. I love sushi. I do not like wasabi. Just in general, I'm not a fan of wasabi. So, like, if there's ever options to get it without wasabi, fuck yeah. I'll, I usually do that. But just, like, the way it's prepared and the rice, like, oh, that's so good. No, and it's, it's not like wasabi ruins it for me. It's just I'm not really a fan of it. She bit. Oh, uh. Hey, this 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 broad was here first. All right, don't you complain on me, woman. Don't you yell at me for this. She came here first. Fairsy squaresies. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, yep, you gotta clean up. I got a bug stuck in my throat now. God, no one, no one's taking our two middle dishes. What the fuck? I almost died to collect you those resources, and no one even took any. Fucking, as I itch my eyeball. Fucking, can't believe these guys. Nice. Yeah, this is the game. I think I got to like day four or five. Because yeah, they introduced this guy and like a one or two others that try to help you. Like you, hi you can hire help eventually. Are you Dave by any chance? Uh, uh, sure. Wow, I'm always right about these things. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the sea people civilization. The, they're called merfolk. Mermaid. Merfolk. Triton. Ha ha, I'll explain to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me tell you about them? Mm. As I wear safari gear. As an archaeologist. Of the sea. The sea people civilization live in legends. They are said to have occupied this region a very long time ago. They worshipped fish and had gills allowing them to live underwater. Which is weird, because it'd be like them worshipping cows. They lived in the depth allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasions by other civilizations. But sudden changes to the sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. I mean, like, okay, sure, they can't be invaded by humans, but, like, there aren't warring factions of fish people? What about the shark people? What about squid people? Do they have, do they have fights? Or is there, like, a society of, like, herbivore fish that get bullied by carnivore fish? Can they eat each other? Why do they worship the fish if, like, it, they're normal animals to them? So, literally, like, a, a giant tuna would be like a cow to us. <laughs> Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course. Which is why I've swindled thousands of dollars of our research. But proof that they were real was found right to the vicinity of this place. This is an amazing find. One that could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea. You'd only see such things in comic books or games. Okay, yeah, thank you. My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it is from no known civilization. It had a word underneath it. it we believe it is Mada in China. We believe this is an ancient part of their civilization. It's dated to around 1500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Mm. I checked. This, uh, what, what does he have for me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments <laughs> didn't pan out, and he won't be around for a good while. That's why I'd like you to help me. 
Uh, my sister told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go take a look. Hold your breath really hard. Uh, we're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we could. Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we can help you. We'll gladly do so. Like, don't have fucking time to swim around searching for artifact. I gotta find fucking food. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Bunch of sushi will be bursting at the seams. Mm. I mean, all right, fair enough. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, I, I, I'll, I'll help, I'll help. Isn't that lucky? Of course I won't be asking you to work for, oh. Uh, of course I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free though. Oh wow. You'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. These days even such things are can be handled by an app. Technology advancements are amazing, huh? Also, I don't want to take the time to actually explain how we ship things to you, whatever. It's it's more fun even if it's less logical for you to to to, to down download an app. Like this always bugged me in like uh I think it was Doctor Who. There was there was an episode of Cybermen, which are basically like robot people. It, it's like think of it as a race of robots that want to turn everything into Cybermen, so they remove your brain because the brain is the strongest computer, and they use that to drive the robots, kind of a thing. But you're still like effectively mind controlled. And there's a bit where like, fuck, yeah, I'm kind of, ah, worth it. You know what? Worth it. I don't want to have to worry about carrying shit. Like I want, I want so much carrying capacity that it's a struggle for me to fill it up before time runs out. But um, yeah, because the idea is that the the human mind is stronger than any computer could possibly be. So they essentially they enslave the human mind because that way you get the that way you get the positive the positives of the computer and the positives of the, the human brain. And to remove context, the doctor was trying to stop them, and someone had a brilliant idea. And basically, they hooked up a small river to... They hooked up a small river to, like, an electrical line, so that when they stepped, when they stepped into it, the Cybermen would be electrocuted. The, the Cybermen saw it coming. Or, like, they suspected that there was a trap. You know, they, they weren't sure what, but they're like, this feels like a trap. They sent in one Cyberman, who died because of electricity, and then they all were like, analyzing, analyzing, upgrading programming, upgrade complete. And then they all stepped into the water, and they were totally fine and resistant to shock. And I'm watching this, going like, what the fuck? That's not how programming works. You can't just program something. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh... I got a gun! Oh, I got a gun! Self-defense! Self-defense! <laughs> I don't get as much meat doing it, but you know what? Worth. Alright. Oh, this is a bad decision. This is a bad decision. This is a bad decision. Unless I can find an eve- I can gun! Unless I can find an evac point. There are points where um, they can just pull you out, no matter your depth. You just need to essentially be safe when you do it. <gasps> that works. That works. So anyways, I start blast. Basically me. I think I'm... I still got a good amount of capacity. All right. But yeah, it, it drove me nuts. And like, and, and my sister, she's like, I, I don't understand why is this is making you mad. It's like, programming in itself cannot change the aspects of the technology. You can't like program yourself to have a better sensor or something, for example. You know, you can program yourself to maybe like make calculations. Maybe I should stop using this gun. All right, fine. <laughs> so maybe I should stop using this gun because you don't get as much meat, but it's funny, so I'm gonna keep doing it. I mean, I got a gun, and that's a big fish. Probably mine. Damn. Get back here. I want to grab that fish and then escape. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. 
Perfect. Haha, -ha, bitch. <laughs> it's, 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 it's shit coming, did ya? It's, it's shit coming, did ya, motherfucker? That guy's got a lot of health. Maybe I should use gun again. Oop. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bitch. Oh my goodness. I can fight, I guess. I'm using gun shit. I need, yeah, I need, I need to escape. Oh, gal. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Okay, it looks like I'm winning the race, though. As long as I can just go straight up with no interference. Oh, I'm losing. I'm losing. I'm losing. Fuck, I'm losing. Oh, it's neck and neck. Oh, I'm losing. Fuck. Oh, no. Ah, damn it. Okay. Okay, hold on. Uh, organized by weight. Okay, what's the heaviest? Uh, I gotta give something up. Ah, fuck. I got discarded. Yep. Breaks my heart to do it, but... You could see... You, you, you guys were following the math with me, right? That, like... I was doing, I was winning at first, but then like I started to lose the race. I was losing air instead of depth, and yeah, we had to give up the big fish, but that's okay. We made it out. That's what's important. What was I talking about? I forgot. Oh yeah, that it just drove me nuts. That it was just like the programming changes. Like no, you can have better algorithms, or like you can install different software that's better at predicting shit. You can upgrade the thought process, but you can't upgrade the physical aspects of it. With that, yeah, whatever. Thumbs up. Hello. Oh. Hello. Let's head to the restaurant. Oh shit. Let's drink the soda. Hello. Doesn't matter how delicious the food is, the restaurant can't be a mess. <laughs> Even though it's the exact opposite of what. If you want to change the interior, the interior menu is below, so please check it. I don't know if the interior actually. If the remains of sea people are found here, customers will ne indeed come, but. This area is kind of remote, so I think I'll need a way to advertise the store until then. Mm. Yeah, these days it's just about impossible to track customers without publicity. Mm. <gasps> we'll use Facebook! Mm. We'll use fucking Twitter. Max, it's called X. Shut the fuck up. It's called Twitter. I say that I, I like Elon Musk, and it's fucking Twitter, all right? <laughs> so she makes an impression on the hearts, not photographs. Mm. Even so, it isn't it isn't better to use it than to keep people ignorant of your food, Bancho. You have a point there. Make it count as simple. So let's fucking sell our souls to Facebook and Google. This, this is just kind of funny that like, it's okay. It's, it's your way of like getting popularity, but you can also like different photos yourself, which I think is great. Um, let's do another dive. Yes, yeah, so you can see this. And you can like it. This is how you take a profile picture. It's hard. He's my dad. Punch was my dad. <laughs> but, um, this is cute, yeah. See, the the only real parts that I'm missing is they gave me, or that I haven't, that I got to in my game and not here yet. Yep, there's the shark I fought. The motherfucker. <laughs> uh, basically, there was like a few extra quests, and there's like one that was bait that's like. <gasps> You know, you need to make a certain dish, and you need to get, like, shark head for it. The dolphin's gonna molest me! Oh, fuck! A dolphin- it seems that you asked me to follow. Should I try and follow? Yeah, sure, why not? Fuck it. You could definitely trust dolphins. They're not known for doing some weird-ass, cruel shit. You know, like, uh, whatchamacallit? Oh, what- was it squid or was it blowfish? I think it was blowfish. That, like... Oh. Nope, I want this fish. I want this fish. I'm sorry, I was killing your brethren. You would understand. You do the exact same thing. And there's an air tank, so we know we can... Damn it. 
damn. So we know we can kind of like spend our air a little bit. Ah! Fucking Nemo. Got in the way. We know we can spend our air a little bit more willy nilly. Take our time getting over there and everything. Fuck yeah. Oh, I love that Mel you're solid. Goodiness right there. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. There, that's what the evac points I was talking about. Oh, I got you, Echo. No. That's really cute. Oh my goodness, it pooped something. Seems I left a gift. Also, well, I guess, would it be regularly known that dolphins have? Aha! Would it be regularly known that dolphins have mates? I was kind of thinking that they did, but that's just because they're more cute. Oh, we got the best item that we could. Just 50 air for free whenever we want it. Alright, uh, let's head back to that one tank. And if we need to, because the tank is a full heal, essentially. It doesn't matter if you have a half oxygen or full oxygen, it is a full heal. Oh shit, where'd it go? Okay, good. I was gonna say, it's like, wait, fuck. <laughs> uh, I got... I got time to be eaten by that moray eel right there. There we go. Cutting it a little close, but that's okay. Yeah. There we go. You got a fucking baseball bat. Let's f <laughs> that's Goodness. Yeah, come over here. Come over here, motherfucker. Oh my, I want a baseball swing this. Uh, hold on. Home ride! <laughs> oh my god. You... Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, see, it's a different minigame. Can you imagine seeing a diver just fucking. Can you imagine seeing a diver just fucking clobber a fish? A full ass fish with a baseball bat? Like, that is just the funniest shit to me. Get these big fuckers. Yeah. Oh, nope, nope. Alright, make sure you don't get away. Alright. Alright, now that we have air, we can probably get down a lot further and hopefully find that artifact. Oh, and oh my goodness, beautiful. We even have an escape point. Oh, that is lovely. I know. <laughs> he's played he's played Super Smash Bros. <laughs> he, he knew what he was gonna walk into. Oh. Paralyzed. Alright, good, good, good. Ah fuck. Oh, God, he's got a lot of health. <laughs> Oh, and there's more ammo there. Fantastic. <gasps> yes. Oh, Dave, I think that's the one. Come back to the boat safely. I'll be waiting. What? Ah! Fuck! Cthulhu's coming for my ass! <laughs> That shit right there is why the ocean's fucking scary. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> I should go back to the boat right away. Nuh-uh, we're here to make fucking money. I got a gun. We got a gun and we got 50 fucking 
air? Like, we're sick. Fucking pretty. But you remember when we were playing Dread and we're in that we're in that one area where like just it's open to like the sea floor. I was talking about like um fearing <laughs> just rocking that fish against the wall. I was talking about uh being scared of like <laughs> I was talking about, like, being afraid that you just, like, see... You realize, like, an entire mountain in the background is just one fish. That right there is, like, the fuel to my nightmares. Alright, I'm not too scared. Oh, my goodness, there's another one. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. That's okay, we got this now. Uh, which one of you guys is, like, muted? Damn it. Well, someone is getting in the bag, all right? Like, I'm just saying, don't try to aim it, to bitch. Mario Kart has prepared me for this moment. Not to mention, your ass is paralyzed. Get the fuck over here. Someone is going in the meat locker. Damn it. So fucking good every time. <laughs> so fucking good. <laughs> Just boop. Alright, uh, let's pop this. Alright. And then we can spend. Yeah, say fuck it. Was... Oh. Uh Okay, I think we're gonna win this race. I think we're gonna win this race. If I just fuck fuck. Fuck. I've been mobbed before by like those kinds of fish where like I think I'd be fine and I could just like skirt around and no, they, they just destroy me. Oh, I can't, oh, I can't open it at all. Uh, how about now? Okay, oh, God. Um, organized by weight. Uh, we can get rid of the starfish, we can get rid of the starfish. Okay, how about wood? Wood. Okay, uh, how about. I don't want to get rid of scrap iron. How about. Okay, fuck it, you know what? No one likes soy sauce anyway. It's a lie. People only eat soy sauce, they like feel. No, oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Might as well open that chest just to see what we get, and for sake of collecting blueprints. I get the squeaky hammer. Oh my god, you get the squeaky hammer. It's a squeaky hammer. It's so good. It, it basically has a benefit that it can put fish to sleep, so you can get... It's, like, weaker, but if you can kill a fish with it, you get even more meat than, like, a knife. It's a squeaky hammer. I fucking love it. All right, you brought it out safely. It seems to be in very good condition, almost as if it was stored somewhere until recently. It definitely didn't fall out of the boat. Just saying. It's squeaky hammer. This may be the find of the century. Even. All right, Dave, let's continue to work together and uncover the secrets of the Sea People's civilization. What? I thought I'd only be helping you once. <laughs> of course, say no, say no more. Just put our restaurant at the top of the list of affiliates. Yeah. So when when I was play when I played this the first time, um. I, like, I, um, was streaming it to, like, the guys I was playing Discord with, and my friend Zach pointed this out. He, have you guys heard of the comedian Fluffy? I forget his actual name, but, like, I won, oh, I forget, uh, I'm gonna be called a racist, I don't know, I forget if he's, like, Cuban or Puerto Rican, he's, like, it, I say that specifically because he, he's a, he's called Fluffy because he's, like, a big fat guy, but he is, like, unmatched. He's a very good comedian, I remember watching a few of his bits. Um, he is an un he is unmatched at impressions and voices. He's just very, very good. And um, this screen specifically right here, Zach was like, "Oh my goodness, you are playing as Fluffy." I only I only suspected a little, but looking at this, like he he's this bigger guy and he always wears Hawaiian shirts. So it's like, "Oh my goodness, you're playing as Fluffy." <laughs> that won't be hard to do. I'm a very lucky feeling about this. I'll be in touch. Goodbye. 
Holy shit. We got turmeric. We're fucking rich. It's already evening. I feel stiff. Even so, Bancho's working alone. I should probably help. It's not easy to manage two people with more customers coming in. And then, yeah, you can you can hire work, but you basically have to do the. Uh... Um, this will probably be our last serving day, and then we'll call it. But um, you can hire workers to help you. Like they'll essentially help speed up cooking, or like, yep, you have to do her quest. But um, you can hire workers to, like help you to help speed things up because eventually the customers will get overwhelming. Looks around. This is Bancho Sushi Place, huh? Hmm. Looks like shit. Like M Miss Yoshi. I came by because I heard this place is getting popular on Cookster. That's right. I know what a phone is. The name gave me pause, but to think it's really your place. New food used in never-before-seen ingredients. Can't taste this any anywhere else. A taciturn but masculine chef. If I could wiggle my eyebrows, I would. Like, wow, do they mention me too? Who the fuck are you? Uh, in any case, what brings you all the way here, Miss Yoshi? Of various reasons. I wanted to check out the restaurant. Looks like you're still the same. Well, there's nothing to change. I simply continue on day by day, training myself. My goodness, that is the problem. You refused to listen to me last time in a similar fashion, and that's what got you booted from the hotel. You're talking about that again. That's the customer's fault for judging the food without even trying it. Mm. How long will you continue treating customers that way? And you know, people say the customer's always right. Wrong. Customers are dumbasses. All right. Mm. I stand by that. To keep making that terrible food. What do you mean terrible? Whole roasted shark head is an excellent dish. Oh, I would, God, I would love to try a whole roasted shark head. That sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. Shark has been used in cuisine in both the West and the East, and in Korea it was even used in ancestral rituals. Also, the, the anime trope of people pulling out encyclopedic knowledge of shit, I fucking love that. That's why I love JoJo so much. Stop, you've not changed one bit. Let me judge for myself, then, whether it's food fit for consumption. Then I can tell you why I came. Fine, then, I'll show you. I'll make sure you know the true taste of shark head meat. Uh, I mean, it's kind of, I don't have a shirt. Dave, as a chef, this is a flight I cannot back out of. My pride hangs in the balance. Please give me a white tip, brief shark head, and olive oil. It's like, what the fuck? How am I supposed to catch a fucking shark? Wrong. Wait, when a customer says this not right before trying it, exactly. Like, okay, it's one thing. It's one thing if it's, like, obviously not right. You know, if you're like, hey, I, um... I don't know, I'm just gonna make something up. I have an allergy, I can't have the sauce. So like, hey, I ordered chicken and you gave me beef. All right, okay, yes, fair enough. Obviously you're right. I ordered shark head, whole roasted shark head. Oh fuck, this is actually a whole roasted shark head. It's like, yes, motherfucker, you ordered it. You did this. It's a little different. But a harpoon's not likely to be enough. Take a good gun with you into battle. God bless America. Even so, find a shark sounds way too dangerous. Do you mean to say you'll be stand by and watch while my tri while my pride I while my tried is prampled? My tribe will not my tried will not be prampled one bit. The white tip <laughs> the white tip reef shark is usually found in the ocean, far to the right. Which right? Like you go to the water. Okay, okay, go go to the water. Look at your hands. If you hold them up, you know, with like your index out and your thumbs in the center, like you're making a goalpost, you'll see the you'll see the hand that makes an L shape, right? Take the other hand, point in the direction that that hand is pointing, to your right. It's somewhere over there, somewhere. Go get your go get your Glock and fucking kill a shark. No dynamite fishing, though. That's illegal. Yeah, that makes sense. If you ordered something that's wrong, then yeah, sure. But if you got, but if you got and got what you got, and bitch, before you try it, exactly. Like, I mean, sure, there might be a certain amount of like, I didn't realize the dish was X, but they didn't get it wrong. You, you got it wrong. And if you ask for the chef special, or if you just put your hand, or you put your life and meal in the hands of the chef and say, "Give me whatever you want," better not fucking complain about it. <laughs> He suddenly wants me to get him a. He suddenly wants me to get him a shark head. This is preposterous. It can only be killed with a gun. I have to ask Duff to make me a gun or a search for one. The blue hole. Tip 
tutorial ass style. Yep, sometimes special customers with a backstory will hear the sushi bar and visit. Learn dishes that the customers want through research and serve them to the customers. And you need basically art artisanal flame. I trust this man with my life. Anything this man gave me, I would eat it. If anything, this game makes me wish, like, this game makes me wish that I had a skill that I honed to this level, you know what I mean? Like, I know that's weird, and it's like, max, that just means you need to apply yourself more. Fair enough, I accept that. But, like, hot damn, it, it, that's something I really appreciate about Japanese culture. The devotion to one singular skill that, like, you become a master of. That's really cool. It's really, like, honorable, and it, it's, it, even if, like, we could talk about, you know, jack of all trades and whatnot, it's... It, it, it's impressive. It's really cool. Alright. Anyways, let's... So the interior... Oriental modern or oriental... Yeah. Um, I don't know... Okay, we got $350. Yeah, put that picture up there. Uh, we could put a tree there. I want that dark wood. Yeah. Hardwood bar. Yeah. Shit's gonna look. Ooh. I don't care if that's only for aesthetics. Damn, it makes it look good. Alright. I would like to now open the restaurant with uh, no items. Alright. Um... Okay, we can do this one. Yeah, we can enhance. Enhance it once, I would say. We'll probably be fine. Alright, uh, yeah, let's get that. Uh, yes, I know we can upgrade it. Um, obtain. Price. Fuck yeah, cuttlefish. Uh, yeah. Alright. And with that, I think we're good. Yeah, so unfortunately she'll just sit there forever because she only wants one dish, so we're gonna have to on the next day try to get him a sharp. Huh? She'll just sit there and get pissy. Huh? Let me pour you some let me pour you some damn green tea. I'll pour you the best damn green tea you've ever had. I don't know how we're making the green tea, but I assure you it's the best probably. Huh? <laughs> Got a like on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, motherfucker. Oh. Careful. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're good. It, not gonna lie, it, uh, that minigame fakes me out because I keep thinking that, uh, like, I'm waiting for the teapot to, like, go back up and it never does. <laughs> so, like, even though I'm stuck pouring, it's still in the same position, so I'm just kind of like. <laughs> I wish it. I wish it actually moved with as moved with you hitting the controller, kind of a thing. Also, is that seriously it? Is that all the people that I could have given you? I could have enhanced so much more shit. Okay, good. I was gonna say like, hot damn, slow night. Ever since we made a Twitter account, like people just got pissy with us. Might as well make more wasabi. Fuck, no one's showing up. Shit. I thought it was gonna be a bit more of a madhouse. Nice. Fuck yeah. I love the music. Oh hey, it's the guy who gives me $300 on the regs. Hey. Hey Dave, I've got the luckiest news. 
Oh. I analyzed the artifact you brought me, and a large amount of an unknown substance was discovered. <laughs> was detected. Oh, Turns out it was Philip. <laughs> oh, what? It's uh, the Steelers. Is that Virginia? Fuck. Philadelphia. Uh, Philadelphia's great steel. Turns out this thing has a horrible DACA. I think it must be iron compressed deep under water, but it gives off a unique wavelength for reasons. I went ahead and developed a radar to track those waves. Take that shit and run with it. Haha, -ha, being coy today, are we? This radar is bound to come in useful on your next expedition. Like, what do you mean my next expedition? Koba forced me to go along last time. Uh, I, I was given a contract with your name on it. The cancellation charge for breaking the contract is over 20... What in the world are you two talking about? Uh, don't be so, uh, so by the book. Check the signal for me to test out the radar. Uh, give it to me. I'll tell you if it works and no more. Motherfucker, you signed me up for a contract? <laughs> I just started... I, I'm on vacation! <laughs> My package hasn't arrived. It's been a while. Mm. What's wow. wrong? Recently picked it up from the floating remnants of a wrecked boat. Oh. There must have been some kind of accident or sun accident in this isolated blue hole. <laughs> I think I saw a huge squid a while ago. It's not because of that, oh. is it? A giant squid. <sighs> giant squid. Just about anything can happen here. Always stay on your toes. We're gonna die. I gotta, I gotta. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta check fucking Twitter. Like that shit. She's so fucking cute. Like that shit. I don't know. Yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll be a whore. I'll like everything. Fuck it. Aww. Oh, nope. Like it again. I disliked it just to like it more. Uh, what's his face? Oh, okay. Nick calling them people. I would like to call the operator. This is my wife. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're good on that front. However, this... Okay, okay, okay. Um, fuck yeah, air tank improvement. Okay, do I want another air tank improvement? Or do I want... Wait. I won't wait. I won't wait. Fuck yeah. Unfortunately, with that, though... We need to end the episode off here. I absolutely... Yep, there you go. I absolutely love this game. I think it's delightful. Dollars to donuts. I will be playing this into the evening tonight. And yeah, it's just absolutely enjoying it. And like I said, this game is like the perfect cigarette after sex with us playing the Metroid series. What a fantastic game Metroid Dread was. What a fantastic like franchise series. I don't regret playing it all. I absolutely loved it. Even for the bits I got kind of frustrated and lost. Even for the times in Metroid Prime where I went to the complete wrong direction, I still absolutely loved it. I loved all of it. That being said, though, we need to end the episode off here and the final stream of the year. Um, I'm not really good at any year messages, but I want to say, you know, this has been wonderful streaming this year, and thank you all so much for being here. It's like... Max, you're a small channel. You're a da -da -da. I don't care. Like, we've had a lot of fun. And I really enjoy having you guys here. You got here. this, Bob. Fuck him up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. I really enjoy, you know, having you guys here. Our silly conversations. I won't get too sappy. And, um, yeah. Here's some many more, right? Uh, next time we stream, we'll be on, to our knowledge, unless something comes up spook, say the word if something does. Uh, January 2nd, where we'll be hoping to finish Baldur's Gate 3, another series that's just been a ton of fun that I've really, really enjoyed playing. And, um, after that, what we'll probably do is we'll probably play Final Fantasy X until, or Final Fantasy X until, um, the baby's born. And then we'll, I'll be taking a break then, and then we'll be figuring out how and when and whatever we're doing with streaming. But until then... Let's end the episode off here. Uh, should we raid? Is there anyone we should raid? I don't think anyone I know is online right now. Oh, well, okay, there's a few people I know, but... Nah, no, no one's small that we should send over people to. If anyone does have anyone in the next 20 seconds, say the word, and we, I will direct the raid over there. But, um... I think that's everything, unless... Unless we don't have anything else. Spooky, thanks so much for hanging out. Hope, hope you had fun with the kind of like the shift of blowing everything the fuck up to you're just like, yeah, we're just having fun. Have, having chilling. 
Have a good Christmas. Yeah, thank you so much, and you as well. But, um, yeah, let's end the episode off here. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching, being here, and joining me on not only this adventure, but just streaming as an adventure in general. It's an honor to have all of you here, and I will see you guys then. Thanks so much for coming. Boy. Thank you.